But I'm just saying, seventeen thousand dollars for anything is wild. For some coochie or some booty hole is OD. He does have bread, so if equivalent. It's like two hundred dollars. I don't have no problem. I, I have a problem when you hiding it, bro. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> I have problems. I'm like, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding it for? <laughs> like, if you move, go ahead. We are not yeah. gonna judge you, but you, we gonna judge you if you're doing this weird stuff. How many move people you think are in the league? Ooh, that's a good question. How many people in the league? Like 400 something? Yeah. I'll say 10. Welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast. Episode number. Let's see, brother. You got this. 161. Ah, you was close, but so far away. It's 165. I'm your host, DWK Darius. I'm here with a you know another host you haven't seen him in a minute but he's he has been on the podcast just some things have been happening <laughs> introduce yourself my brother oh yeah you know top up big fed you know alive and doing well i'm uh <laughs> doing a lot of things right now so. yeah he's yeah. been pretty yeah. busy bro he's a coach now officially he was a coach last year but now yeah. he actually has to go to <laughs> practice he <laughs> actually, actually has to show up he actually gotta do he's his saying, job yeah. now bro yeah, yeah, yeah. dang is it crazy you can't say crazy stuff on here now is that see what i Oh, you could still? I don't saying. care. Hey, we know how to coach. We know Rutgers know a coaching staff, bro. He's, a, <laughs> He's just part of the, you just part of the mix now, bro. Part of the family, bro. How you enjoying it though? You like it? It's all right. Yeah, no, it's, all right. it's all right. It sucks seeing like uh, how undisciplined uh, high school players are. When so, do you understand now? Because you, for a fact, mm-hmm. have been getting got kicked out of practice a lot mm-hmm. in your time at Rutgers. Yo, it'd be funny as hell watching these like. Them just do it's so simple, like it's just so simple. Like just, coach will literally say it, just do it, and like they be getting so mad and emotional. I'll be like, yo, yeah. Just so. so do you understand from a coach's perspective now, like what log had no, to go I even, through? I even understood it while I was a player. Oh, you like, just said only my freshman year was the only one, but like even like sophomores and juniors like crashing out doing dumb shit. I'll be like, wait, bro, what are you? Come on, bro. <laughs> like it's simple. Like you just think. Like he has the ball, guard him. Like there was true. one play where Shahid just pass faked and the entire team ran at it. And it's like, there's a guy with the ball. Like, <laughs> he has the ball in his hand. Like, but, like, you know really how it be when you tired as hell? Nah. People don't be thinking, oh, there's no excuse. <laughs> like, it's just like, you just, you just go, like, you just run around, like, then sub out. Like, if you're tired, sub out. But yeah. Have yeah. they got kicked out of practice yet or not? Nah? They missed walkthrough the day of the first scrimmage. What do you mean, missed walkthrough? They came late. Like, you know, coach wanted to be They all minutes. did? Yeah, it's just like come, 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 come oh, in late. Oh, so you know, coach wants to be there like 15 minutes. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. Like people were coming in like 10, 9, 5. Uh, one per, like one of them was walking in as they were circled up. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it was 7 30, but like still, like. Dang, that's OD. Yeah, you can't. That's that. OD, that's yeah, OD. And surprised. he just kicked everybody out? Yeah. Or he was like, nah, do your own fucking walkthrough. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so he hey, bro. You know, I always, I always think about Coach Log, bro, but. I realized without if I if he never put me on the team, bro, my life would have been pretty different. I ain't no, gonna lie. Totally different, bro. I think about it all the time, like, dang, what if I did wasn't didn't make the team? I probably yeah. wouldn't be with Jay, bro. Dang. Think about it like that, bro. That's, I thought I think about it a lot. I'm like, deal. I didn't think about that. Like, that's, you weren't hooping. What the hell would I? Where would I be? At? I don't know if I'd be doing this podcast right now. You've been at the crib. You wouldn't have been at the game. I might have had a job though. This shit is crazy. You work. wouldn't have been at the game though. No, nah, I wouldn't definitely. have been the game. Damn. I know. I think about it all the time, bro. Coach Locke don't know. He really helped me out. <laughs> Shout out to you, Mr. Uh, Joseph. You know what I'm saying? Damn. He helped me out a lot, bro. Yeah, different. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below. Uh, post notification. Shout out to all our sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Use code no regulars to get $20 off any orders over $50 or more if you're new to SeatGeek. You know what I'm saying? World Series is still going on. The NBA season just started. The NFL is still raging. NHL, all the sports. And they also have... Music festivals. They have uh what's that big concert that everybody goes to? Uh not uh Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud. You can get tickets for Rolling Loud and all the tickets is all unscammed. So you know how sometimes they yeah. be sit doing some scamming that shit with the oh, tickets. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, SeatGeek has make sure everything is verified so you guys will never get scammed. And shout out to our other sponsors, prize picks, use code no regs to get five. If you put five dollars in, you get fifty dollars back automatically. Win, lose, or draw, and as simple as just picking over or unders with points, rebounds, and assists. That's how easy it is, people. You know what I'm saying? You can make a thousand dollars from just putting a hundred dollars in. But probably le- you could put in ten, bro. 
put a, a hundred, put ten dollars, make a thousand, put another ten. You feel me? I'm saying, bro. Corey yeah. was actually sending me his picks. He was winning a lot. Yeah, make some bread, bro. Was he winning with you? Like, did he send you those nah, picks? He's fake, bro. Oh, like <laughs> he doesn't send those, bro. He <laughs> you know what I'm he's fake as hell. He doesn't send those, bro. I seen the pick. I'm like, hold on. He sent. He made a lot. Cause look. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he did you dirty, bro. He didn't send them, bro. It's okay, bro. But yeah. before we start, we was talking about sports. Tyrone. Oh, sorry, people. I knocked out the, the mics. But Tyrone He's was made. making fun of me about pickleball. Look who's the pickleball champ, bro. Look who's the pickleball champ, bro. The picklebots. I don't know if you see it. Picklebots, bro. That. Yeah, bro. Pickleball champs. That's where I got Das Boot. That's where I got the Das Boot from, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they got me and Jay won our pickleball uh, league yesterday. So they gave you a boot? Yeah, because let me tell you that has no absolutely no fucking correlation. Second, <laughs> second, this is the biggest loser shit. Wait, what? This, you talking about an organized league made this shit? Millennials would never make that for y'all. They do better actually. We've highlight tapes. They they make us highlight tapes. They make highlight tapes now. Yeah, yeah. You're, Since yeah, when? Bro, just what the hell? Since when they make highlight We're tapes? We're OD nice, bro. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, they I'm got cooked. they got trophies. You guys got a banner, bro. A I boot. got a boot because look, you don't even drink alcohol. Look, like, I know. I know. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> bro. They gave us they gave us this and a hundred twenty five dollar gift card to a, a bar that we're gonna use for free food. Hundred twenty five dollars to a yes. bar where? Uh, it's in Morristown. Wait, tell me, tell me, They were really. Yeah. What bar is it called? Don't say laundromat. No, no, no. It's called um, uh, Horseshoe, something like that. You don't. I've been to that bar. <laughs> really? You literally. <laughs> you're not gonna go there and get food. It's a bar, bar. Like, it's not Wait, like, there's no eats. Get alcohol. Give me the gift card. No. What's up? <laughs> That's for eats, bro. You're not gonna get food there. They literally don't have food. Nah, have food. nah. But you, like, you're, it's literally like a bar. There's no seating. Like, it's like. Nah, there's no. It's, it's one of those. Up. It's a stand, yeah. And it's like you know a long bar. Nah. You can stand up and eat at the bar. I do that, but most people like you're gonna see a whole bunch of people there drunk as hell. <laughs> like it's not like I'm a, gonna go on a Monday. Yeah, nobody gonna be on a Monday cl- night. They close on Mondays. So. Damn. Yeah, it's oh, okay. I'm gonna bring my boot. I'm gonna be like, can you fill this up with Sprite? They are gonna look at me weird. They're not gonna fill it up. Really? I guarantee you. Why not? If I pay for it with the 125, they don't pour. No, they're definitely not gonna fill it up. Oh, that's tough, bro. What? Uh, you know what we go pour up with though. I'm gonna use this. Yo, we got some. I got some bevs. Me and Trago yeah, time, bro. Gift card. <laughs> <laughs> so try. But all right. So you want to take? You want to try this first, or do you want to take our? Oh, let's do the antibiotic. Su- I need a chaser. Yeah, it's yeah. a Suja organic probiotic watermelon shot. So I've been on my uh, what's these called? Like uh, dietary shot cleansing days. My mom bought some, uh, like a ginger one. She wanted you to try that one because I remember you. She remembers you brought like a ginger that that kombucha thing. Yeah. Yeah. You said K- you liked K- it. Yeah, kombucha. Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to. I don't think this is ginger though. I think this is just like this might be better. This is watermelon. Yeah. Racism. Wait, no. <laughs> How is this racist? racist. <laughs> yeah. All um, right, bro. Wait, hold, bro. We got to cheers. Oh bro. yeah, cheers, bro. Hopefully this is good. The other one was freaking yeah, disgusting. Bro. There you go. All right. Ooh, tastes like like the bad parts that of water. I know it tastes like the skin, bro. That's not bad. That's though. A little bit of cucumber. I think it's lemon and aloe, and uh, watermelon. Oh, that's not that much stuff. The other yo, the other one had like turmeric, uh, ginger, see, pepper. That junk burn when I drink it, bro. Sea moss. No, I didn't have sea moss. I didn't have sea moss. All right, I'm gonna put that one. That's bad though. That one, yeah, that one's that bad. I, I'll drink that again. Five calories. What flavor you got? I have lemon perfect lemon water. Peach raspberry. Sorry. Peach raspberry. I was about to say, what you <laughs> that's what mine says. I'm reading the regular ass label. I got dragon fruit mango. I promise you it's gonna be mi- Got pour up that's boot, bro. <laughs> Damn, this is, how much fills this thing? Is this like a gallon? Probably a liter. A liter? This is O D, hold nah, on. Nah, it's probably like a pint. No, probably like a double liter, I mean. Double liter? Or maybe a liter, because a pint is yeah. Underwhelming, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse. I thought it'd be a little more like tangy. Would I buy it again? No. My mom bought like a whole pack of these, no. so it's like four flavors. Why, this one. Why would she do that? Mm, she'd be like, I think whenever stuff goes on sale, she just buy it, bro. It's not that bad though. Yeah, I, I ain't mind it. Like if I needed flavor, like if I was itching for flavor, and this was like 
and I needed something I'm trying to lose weight, then I get this. Yeah. I'm about to say, this is not that bad, bro. Yeah. But, but, bro, I got a lot of things to talk about. I got some current events. And, wow. we, you know, we got some questions to talk about. But the first current event I want to talk about, especially for you, I've been waiting for you, bro. Because mm-hmm. Lil Dirk got locked up. So I want to know your opinion because his man so, snitched, bro. He's so booty, bro. And since you are, yo, he his man snitched. <laughs> it's actually mad funny because he was around him for a minute before he snitched. I know, like he's just wearing a wire. But it's like, yo, if you're gonna talk about some like foolishness, like if you're gonna talk about like, yeah, we're gonna kill this thing and all that. Why are you bringing more people? But like that was his like man's though. He got him a crib, a car, and some bread. He didn't think he had a whole wire on him for this this long a time. I go, his man's is crazy though. I know. I'm like, why, even why would you? Why? Is he is he okay? Like, like what did they have to offer him? What did you like, you could have just gotten more bread? Literally, you they, could, what did they? Yeah, what did they offer you? Like, you know, probably he probably got caught, and they said instead of us putting you in jail, you got to say, or you're going to jail for life. Oh, so you think because he got he was in jail for like twelve years before that? So you think he and they got probably caught him again? And we're like, yo, if you're going to go in for life this time, only way for you to avoid going in for life is, is walk around this wire on. You put this wire on and catch dirt. Dang, bro! Did you see the? Uh, there was like an interrogation video of him, like in the in the room, and they gave him like a bunch of McDonald's, <laughs> and he was he was fucking that shit up. Wait, was it? Re- nah, it wasn't really him. What? It wasn't Dirk. It was the other no, dude. The, the dude. It wasn't really him. No, it wasn't. It was him eating the McDonald's, bro. Like in the interrogation room, they was like, yeah, they fed him good before he started snitching, bro. You know, you know what I find it's funny as hell. Like when uh, people are like heckling a cop, yeah, and they have the camera like, yo, look at this pig, this stupid cop. And the cop would be like, thank you for all the information you've been giving us. You've been great for like... Yeah, no, for real. This should be killing me. Bro. And then, wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nah. it's, like, it's like, hey, real you scared of yeah, these people coming? So I don't want you to... I don't want them to know you're with us. Like, and it'd be <laughs> OD. That'd be killing me, bro. No, nah, what be, what be having me dying? I don't know if y'all be... You be seeing like when the girls be tweaking out on their boyfriend after they cheat. Like they break their car and like write cheater on the car. There was a boyfriend who... uh recorded his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend after like I guess he cheated or whatever and she was on top of his car smashing his car and she like spray paint everything and then the video pans over like I guess hours later the cops show up at her house and then she was like uh ma'am we have a video of you like vandalizing somebody's property and we'll have to take you into the station she's like what I didn't do nothing and then she was like <laughs> he was like we have it on video He's like, <laughs> he was like, we either come in the house, you see either you come with us or we come in the house and we arrest you. She's like, no, you can't take me. I didn't do nothing wrong. And then her friend's like, she didn't do nothing. You ain't come in this house without a warrant. He's like, bro, you got five seconds. We're going to come in here now. And then they went into the house and they ran away. <laughs> like they dipped and the cops had to tackle them. I'm like, bro, you literally, literally just committed a, caught. a crime. Caught, and why are you surprised? Yeah, it'd be stupid as hell. Like, like you literally got caught. <laughs> you literally got caught jumping you on. Said, uh, like the cheaters thing with Peter Guns. What's that? Peter Guns, I don't know who Peter Guns really is, but he like cheated on his wife and now he does like the thing where they go around catching people cheating on their girlfriend. Is that the one where he brings in somebody to like fake, like talk to the guy's girl or whatever? I mean something like nah, it's like you just catching cheaters basically. Oh, it's just like yeah, and, yeah. And dude got and dude got caught. He's like, wait, he's like, I'm Peter Guns, I'm with Cheaters Hotline, whatever. He's like, Peter Guns? Nigga, you cheated first. And, <laughs> and he's like, I did, brother, but now I'm doing this. He said, Bro, look out for me. What the hell? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, that's just funny, though. That's too funny. But it's like, if you're doing the... All right, so with Dirk, right? With his mans. Say, do you think he was in the wrong for doing that? If they yeah. if they, if they, they offered him, like, they said, like, yo, we just caught you. We're, getting, we're giving you life right now. But if instead of giving you life, you're going to have to wear this wire around him to build up this Rico charge. Would you do... Like, would you do that personally? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you about to go to jail for life. I don't, you know, I'm not one of jail, so I do whatever I can to get not go to jail. So what if you, I'm, all right, what if he was in there like him 12 years and then it was like, all right, you know, what he should have done is not broke the law, but go ahead. Uh, that is true. Yeah, that would have been great. Uh, but they like, they catch him again and be like, yo, we know you be with Dirk all the time, but you didn't do nothing, but we're going to pin this on you, so you and you're going to go back to jail for another 12 years. No, nah, that's impossible. That's impossible? Like, I didn't do anything. What do you mean? Or what if he, uh, what if he did something minor, like something where you can get maybe like, or what if they bring him back and they didn't say for life is like twelve years, another twelve years? Yeah, that, that's where that's why I said me personally, I'm not doing jail. So <laughs> regardless, so, yeah, I'm wearing the white. Like <laughs> I wouldn't even be around an individual who's doing like foolishly. I'd be like, oh, by the way, I'm a snitch, just so you know. Like, it's like you guys have cocaine here. Just don't bring me back here again because if you guys bring me back here, I'm probably gonna you feel me. Yeah. <laughs> like if you ever get caught, I'm not going down with the ship, bro. I'm not loyal, bro. 
But mm. get me up out of here. So dang, because he was doing that jump for years though. Think yeah, about it, like wearing that, it for years is crazy. I'd be scared as hell. Like, how you not get caught? Like, I'm thinking he did it for like six Maybe months. Maybe they let him out early, like let him out early. You know, like, hey, we'll let you out now if you wear a wire. Oh, so he probably had like 20 or something like that. He's like, all right, we'll let you out at 12. Dang, that's crazy work. But, but I ain't gonna lie, he probably gonna die. He definitely probably he's gonna die. It, well, he's putting witness protection now and all that. So. Yeah, but like. How I was talking to Corey about that. Him to like Wisconsin or something. Uh, so you think he? Go, but how yeah. long can you be in witness protection for? Life. You can really be in there for life. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd be in there for like I thought it was only like months. No, you, I mean it depends what happened. Like, so if in, in this case you think he brought he probably gonna be safe for life, bro. Yeah, they're not gonna keep him in Chicago. He's gonna go somewhere like Wisconsin or something. And just change. It. So what do they do? Is it like they put you in another place and they like change a name? But in Utah, there are no OTF niggas. <laughs> He's safe as hell in Utah. <laughs> He can go to Utah, Wisconsin, and there are zero OTF niggas over there. There's nobody over here claiming a fucking set. Be, wow, be bro. Yeah, he'd be good over here. That's crazy work, bro. It'd be your own man's, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. But nah, I ain't. I ain't. Damn. Depending on the the depending on the severity, though. If I didn't do nothing, all right. What if he said something like this, right? You you already got out of prison. You're him. You already got out of prison, and. Since you be with Dirk and them, like he gave you the fifty bands, he gave you the he gave you the crib, he gave you the car, and he's and then the cop arrests you, be like, yo, you part of Dirk, we're breaking a Rico ch- Rico charge, you are gonna go back to prison, but you because you are associated with them, something like that, and they were trying to pin some not pin some stuff, but they're like uh, conspiracizing against them because he might have been involved with some other things, but they're like instead of you going to jail, well, wear you have to just wear this wire around him for the next couple years until we build up this Rico chase, Rico charge, and you're not going to jail, but he's gonna go to jail. Would you still do it? Or yeah. you still <laughs> you still do it? I'm not going to jail. There's nothing. I'm not going to jail for nobody. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Your main man's. Why are you committing a crime? <laughs> my main man's why are you committing a crime <laughs> that is true you know I mean? ain't gonna lie people be saying like nah bro I'm gonna take nah y'all kinda dumb I yeah, don't understand yeah. that logic yeah no I'm not I'm out like I I'm never not, uh, I never dumb. understood the logic where it's like I never gonna snitch on my mans if you did. like granted right if you didn't do a thing wrong mm-hmm. and you still not and they're pinning it on you but you know your mans did it he's not really your friend for real like, whoever came up with this logic is a genius. He should be taking that. Yeah, exactly. Especially if I didn't do it. There's no shot. If I didn't do it, I would never take an L for somebody. It's impossible. That's what I'm saying. It's Physically p- impossible. <laughs> Physically. It, it's, it's against the laws of physics. If you oh, t- if you kill five people, they're not going to catch you. And they're like, we think it's you. And I could go to court and get away with it. I'd be like, brother, they are bringing me to court. I'm not even going to hire a lawyer. I don't have bread for that. You need to come in here and say you did it, or I'm going to tell them you did it. It's as simple. <laughs> as simple there's, as that? There's nothing I, yeah, there's nothing I can do. It's out of my hands. They caught you now. They caught you. They got. They caught me. They caught you. It's over. <laughs> they caught you, brother. You're cooked. Dang, bro. You think Dirk going to be in there for life, bro? You think he cooked? Yeah, but he'll be good, though. Why? He got bread. He's going to live like a king. Oh, you think so? He has respect in the streets. But like, how good can you honestly live in prison? Like, is it, like, good enough? Yeah, like, summer camp and shit. You gonna have to... Yeah. <laughs> I think it compared to the summer camp. I mean, hood niggas is used to being around that shit, so it was like, you know. Oh, so he's used to be all right. Yeah, it'd be cool. Even the correction officers would fuck with him. He's dirt. But I heard because he freaking sent two private jets to, like, two different locations. Like, he sent one to Italy and then sent the other one to, like, Greece. And then he went to Miami, and that's where he was going to get on his private jet. So, like, everybody don't know where he's at. I'm like, dang, he had a whole freaking plan for he this? He still got caught. And he still got caught, bro. <laughs> That's so ass, bro. But, all right, I got a question now for you, bro. So, you are on the run from the cops, and you get $500 for every minute you are away from them. How long can you stay away from the cops? Basically saying, like, imagine you were in the cop car, and then you run out. So, you're on foot. It's not like you're in your crib, like, that day starts, and the cops are getting, nah, they're, like, on your ass. How long can you last? For five hundred dollars a minute, like I rob a bank and I hop in a whip. Yep, and they're on your ass. How long can you survive for? Do I start off in Newark? <laughs> Let's talk about Newark. I might be able to make it like fifteen hours. Fifteen hours? 
Because I'm going to start off in Newark. I'm going to really dwindle it down. Nah, if I start off in Newark, it's bad because they could box me in. That's what I'm saying. If Newark I, is like the worst place. Now, nah, if I'm in Union, I, I might make it a very, very long time. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather go like... I might make it like two days, bro. What's your plan? Is I'm going to peel off, probably go to like the bridge. Nah, you're crazy. They're going to freaking cut you off on the bridge. No, no, no. I'm jumping off, bro. I'm nice. Like I said, I'm going to commit. I'll probably try to think of where I would go. Would you go into the woods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm about I might say... need somewhere to get it to where it's only like a, a lesser amount. I go to like, perfect. I drive to like Hillside mm. Bridge and pull off, run to those woods over there. And I know every trail all around. Oh, and I'm just from there, you you know you're catching the one in the the one where the there's like, like where, a the, where the water the stream. Is. Oh, yeah, I'm that's trail tough. the car down that way, and then block the car off to where I'm about to go. Hop out and run run the trail. The trail comes all the way back over here. Right, mm -hmm. it's OD. Yeah, oh, that's kind of smart. Cause I was thinking I'm gonna lose them in there and then chill out. They're gonna end up searching the woods, and then I'm eventually come out like somewhere deep. Mm. I'm think I'm thinking if I'm in the city, I'm probably gonna have Max like. Like if they if they're on my ass like I'm driving city I got like seven minutes seven minutes yeah seven to ten minutes max but if I'm like in like like a town or something like that mm -hmm. and I can find the woods I can be gone for a good amount of hours I think max I think minimum twenty minutes maximum I could do is ten hours max I could do is like I, I don't like to chase bro forty eight forty eight yeah because I'm gonna lose them for a second I'm gonna have to chill you tall as hell bro. I'm the goat. That don't mean nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you easy. You easy to spot. I can. I can yeah, be yeah, un. I can go uncovered more than you, bro. Nah, but you'll get caught, bro. I get mad in the woods. But like, fuck, I fucking hate bugs. <laughs> Why yeah. everybody think I'm a crash out for? I'm and not I'm that bad, bro. You know, I'm just vibe. I'm not that bad of a crash out. No, nah, you are. No, I'm not. I got him better. <laughs> I told you, sports just brings out the you crash out of me, bro. Better. That should have seen you. Should see me in freaking beach volleyball, bro. <laughs> We're also 5-0 in that too, bro Two, yeah, two yeah, blockers, bro You're supposed to be on the team, bro Two blockers is a great name, by um, the way Yeah <laughs> Two blockers is actually a fire name like, You were supposed oh. to be on the team We don't block We literally don't do what our name and, is called and Two blockers with no blocks no, it's, it's hard, bro I can't get I be getting up But like, I be missing I need another guy Wait, you said your name is The Pickle Bots It was supposed to be Paddle Bots But I folded Ball bus Darn, that's wild work We had, we beat them in the finals, bro Ace Bandits I think it was uh, Picklebacks. And yeah, bye. Yeah, because we was number one seed, bro. We 6-0. and Come on, bro. We nice. Come on, bro. You got to open up your horizons, bro. That's so trash. But yeah. You got to open up your horizons to new sports, bro. It's not a sport. It's, it, it is a sport. It's, nice. gonna be, it's about to be the Olympics in 2028, bro. I believe it will be. I'm saying. Pickle. pickle I ain't going to lie. Pickleball. Because we we known pickleball from when we was, used to go to the Y. You remember like early they morning? Used to play before? Not like early, early in the morning. No, I didn't know they played it back then. They did. Like I remember, I remember when I used to go to the Y like in the morning, like six a.m. They used to have pickleball at nine with the old people. Oh yeah. But I'm talking about like they old, old like they like seventy. I didn't yeah. know there was no young people playing at the time. It started getting popular like maybe. I mean, I was playing me and Chris, and then we were playing it, but we didn't know what the hell we were doing probably like last year. But I think it really got started getting popular like this year. Because when we went to Jakai Crib in Charlotte, there was mad people playing. Like, we would go to the pickleball courts. There was, like, a line. And we were like, what the hell? We ain't never seen nobody play pickleball. Fiends. But now it's starting to come up here now. So now mad people up here playing pickleball. Nah, I told you mad people, like, playing pickleball everywhere. Don't worry, bro. You, you'll be nice in pickleball. Nah, I won't play, though. Why? Uh, bro, literally, you have an advantage. You tall. Nah, it's just mid, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, it's so fun, bro. It's, he's just hating. Nah, it probably is, but... Yeah, nah. He, he, he's him. gonna play pick. He's gonna tell me one time. He's like, "Yo, pickleball mad fun." But I bet you he's gonna text me that. <laughs> I bet you he's gonna text me that. All right, bro. Oh, I got some other things I heard about, bro. What? R.J. Barrett is Mookie, bro. Have you been hearing about that? <laughs> to nobody's surprise, R.J. <laughs> Barrett is. <laughs> Did you hear what happened, bro? What? They said uh, there was like a male escort went on TikTok saying like R.J. Barrett owes him money for putting he up looks, his booty. Look him in the face. Look at his facial build. What that got him? He he looks nothing's wrong with that by the way. He just looks like <laughs> he mook? Yeah. Like he, he like he, he looks he, like it's fun for him. He can't, pff, he's it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. You know, some people like to have fun. RJ Barrett looks like one of those guys. He, he looks like yeah, he definitely What if somebody in the comments said you look like RJ Barrett? 
Don't say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing it in my mind. I'm seeing I'm like, yo, this guy kind of look like I can see that happening. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Nah, the way he acts, he only goes left. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's just... Oh, he's just already backwards? Kind of... <laughs> it's already back. He just... He can't go right. He can't get it right. So he got... <laughs> he goes to the left side. Yeah. I remember he had a girlfriend. I ain't never seen her since, oh, though. Oh, is this a facade? Yeah. The DL, he like he like Dwight Howard. I heard this is what I heard. I heard DL. supposedly the man the man that he did it with, like they owe he RJ Bear owes him like seventeen thousand dollars. Oh no, we good. Oh wow. So RJ Bear owes him seventeen thousand dollars. Yes. That's why he came out. Yep. Yo. <laughs> He's not getting that contract. He thought he was getting a max contract. Yo. Has he even I even I haven't seen him play this year yet. Probably got cut. He's garbage. He was doing good on the Raptors, bro. Nah, free team. Oh, I do good on the Raptors. <laughs> free, time. free buckets. Free, free zone. But do you think he really moved? Yeah, for sure. Oh man, bro. But that's crazy though. Paying to be mook. <laughs> nah, you're crazy. No, that's <laughs> OD. That's OD though. Like, think about it for real. You paying seventeen k? You can look like. All right, be honest, bro. It's like you. I'm not even gonna say it because I'm not saying this on yeah, the internet. You're about to tweet. Go I'm, not, I'm not gonna go say it. I'm not gonna tweet out. I'm not gonna lose it. No, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna crash out. But I'm just saying, seventeen thousand dollars for anything is wild. For some coochie or some booty hole is od. He does have bread, so if equivalent. It's like two hundred dollars. But you don't think if he went to a gay bar, he couldn't find something? No, nah, he could. But he find something for free. Bear. He could also get robbed. Uh, oh, so, so he's going out for rob. So regardless, you get robbed. <laughs> voluntarily get robbed or like involuntarily get robbed. Oh man, bro! I hope the allegations are true, bro. RJ, it's okay though. If you are, I ain't got a problem with you. He has a problem with. It. I don't have no problem. I, I have a problem when you hiding it, bro. <laughs> That's my. <problem. laughs> I have problems. I'm like, why are you hiding? It why are you hiding it for? <laughs> like, if you move, go ahead. We are not yeah. gonna judge you, but we gonna judge you if you're doing this weird stuff. How many move people do you think are in the league? Ooh, that's a good question. How many people in the league? Like 400-something? Yeah. I'll say 10. Not counting the G League? Not counting the G League. Five. I, f- I think five. Either they are mook on the low or they have done something with the man. Because what is the what is the statistic? Like every out of every like friend group, if there's like 11 or 12 and one of them is gay or something like that, yeah, one in every twelve or something. One in every twelve, right? So if that's the case. It might be more in the NBA, but I mean, like, that'd be crazy. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. The I don't think we'll never know though. It won't be like no. I don't think they're doing like no Dwight Howard stuff, like where they're like, like yeah. uh, forcing people to do it. I hope not. That'd be crazy. That's crazy work. When Dwight came out with that, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's some scary. That's a scary sight to see, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It's kind of, I'm, I'm really thinking hard. No, I said like four. Four or five. That's what I'm saying. Four or five. Because it's like, if you think about it, it's like, one, I feel like one is on the Hawks. I don't know who. I'm not going to I'm not gonna discredit nobody. But I'm just saying because ATL, is, that's where I heard. But I got some, thing, I got some other things we could talk about, Ty. So I'm not going to talk about politics on this podcast because, you know, politics is a very weird subject. We already know. Everybody knows who Tyrone voting for if y'all real ones. He's not going to say it on here because I ain't going to allow him to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but... <clears throat> I have uh, There's a superstition That's been going around Recently About the election I don't know if you ever heard about it Have you ever heard about The Redskins rule With the election No it was that? So it's like So there's a whole stu- Superstition going around With the NFL Saying like Whenever Like the Washington Redskins Well they're the commanders now Whenever They If they win Their last home game Before the election Whoever was in office Prior So like at this point It would be It's really like Gets reelected, not gets reelected, will be that will be the party that gets voted into being presidency. So, in this case, that's when. So, the last home game that the commanders had was that Hail Mary throw, uh, this Sunday. That's the last home game. Next week is next week is the election because this week they're away. uh, So, now since they won that game, election or before the votes are drawn, before the election. So now, if the, the whole superstition is right, that means Kamala Harris will be the first how president. I, how do I put money down for Kamala? Loki, there's an app. I've seen an app that you can bet on. Like, Price picks? 
Check it out. It's on Price Fix, guys. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Pete the plugin. I forgot. There's like a yeah. there's like an app that you can bet on like everything. Like you can bet on the yeah. Election. I want to know what app. I know what you're talking about. I heard of it, but I need to know what app that is too. Yeah. I seen on like I seen like an ad. It was like some Asian dude talking about. But like yeah, in this scenario, Kamala Harris would be the first woman president in the United States, bro. First black woman president. If the superstition is right. And the superstition goes all the way to like the 1940s, I think. Like it was true from 1940 to 2000. They were 17 and 0 until I think 2004 when uh, George Bush got reelected. That's when the streak ended. And since then, there were I think there are 17 and 21, 17 for 21. So it's very accurate, people. So if Kamala Harris wins, I called it. 20, wait, 21. That's uh the amount of elections since the NFL started. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not like since, because, you know, we've yeah. been in the nation for like 300 years. It's not that far. The NFL only been around for like, right. dang, the NFL hasn't been around, oh no, it hasn't been 400 years yet. Put my bread on it. I'm saying I need to find that app, bro. Because <clears throat> I think you can bet on mad things. You can bet on freaking the election. You can Yo, bet on like stocks free? and stuff. Free for what? The slaves. What year? Yeah. Was it 1776? No, that's not it. That's not true. All right, so I just want everybody here to know this man has two degrees, so <laughs> three if you count high school. He has a bachelor's degree. Wait, he also has a master's degree. Let me let me this cook. This man says seventeen seventy six. Let me cook. Let me cook. Eighteen twelve. No, no, no. The War of eighteen twelve. No, 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 no. Dang. Eighteen seventy six. I bet you it's eighteen seventy six, bro. You're close. What? Eighteen? No, no, no. Don't tell me. Eighteen forty seven. Way off? 1865. Damn. That's the Emancipation, Emancipation Proclamation thing? Uh, yes. June, that's when we won the war. Why were, Why were, Why is that a question in your mind? I wanted to know if we what was longer, uh, and us being free or NFL? <laughs> Wait, you, thought, you thought we still wasn't free? But bruh, the, you be, bruh. Nah, you, like, watch, I ain't watch, go... Watch, watch. Watch us being free. We haven't even been free for two hundred years yet. We haven't even been free for one hundred fifty years yet. Wait, no, no, we have I been lied free. to you. One hundred fifty. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's been one hundred fifty, but we've been yeah hasn't even been free for two hundred years. Let's let's look at uh. Dang, that is true. We haven't been free for two hundred years, bro. That's od, bro. Nah, you know I I, I was hearing, bro. Yo, you said nineteen forty? Yeah. NFL is is almost the same age as uh, woman. Oh, women getting rights? Yeah. Why did you say women? Because they weren't people. Let me just say that. Yo. <laughs> say that, but yeah, they were. They didn't have rights yet. Dang. Wow. So the NFL. Wow, that is kind of close. I ain't gonna lie. So seventy years prior to the NFL being created, we were still slaves. Like somebody's whole lifetime. Dang. Do you think? I got you. Watch. I'm about to cook right now. What you looking up? I'm scared. But while he's looking up, people, we got a commercial break. 1954. 1954 what? 1954 uh, is when we started doing integration. Oh, like combining so. us. So you were allowed to be racist longer than you were allowed to be. Then you're allowed to play football. Like football has been around longer than racism. No, no, no. Racism. The end. Wait. Not being racist. The end of racism. The end of racism. The end of segregation. Yes. Yeah. Not not being racist <laughs> <laughs> is younger than the National Football League. That's insane work to, yeah. to, think, to think about it. Now think about imagine soccer. Wait, he's, oh, my bad. Imagine like he's the like, Premier Leagues because the Premier League's probably been around for like since like the yeah, nah, like long way longer. Soccer. They've been playing soccer forever. How about bat? How about wait, Loki? I think the MLB was was um. Older than the NFL. Hold on. When did the MLB MLB start? The MLB started in this junk says March 3rd, 2023. Wow. The MLB was originally formed in 1876. That's OD. So <laughs> they freed the slaves and said, shit, we need a sport now. What? And then started playing baseball. And yeah, then they yeah, can't yeah. even they couldn't even play, bruh. Wow. To Jack. Dang, shout out Jackie. When did Jackie Rabbit start playing? Like in the 1900s? Uh, no, you didn't see the movie 42, bro? I actually didn't see that Neither movie. Neither did I. 
<laughs> so he he tried to catch yeah, me. He's he just not as much of a freaking. Uh, yeah, speaking of the coaching work, uh, I'm texting the player. I have to pick him up. You know how the GAs be picking niggas up. Yeah, and we have morning practice. I gotta go pick up one of the, the little niggas. Wait, pick up like he's a player one, on the one, team right yeah, now. Yeah, I gotta pick him up from what his house. Yeah, where does he live? In Elmwood Park. Where's that? It's like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Minutes. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah. For what? Like uh, for practice, nigga. Well, like tomorrow. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I gotta pick him up tomorrow. That's why he was texting me like, "Yeah, I don't gotta ride." Wow, good job. No. You know, <laughs> coach <laughs> gotta give you gas for that. He, he said. Oh, he, he has a seven. You have the seven a.m. tomorrow. It's eight. Eight. Oh, it's eight. It's yeah. eight now. It's eight to, for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. He don't do the seven a.m. practice no more. Did a couple. Oh, he did yeah, a couple of nights. Yeah, but it's at eight tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, dang. That sucks, bro. Have fun with that. So you got to go from Newark to Elmwood Park. <sighs> so Coach get, I was just texting. Then Coach giving you uh, gas money for that? He said he would, but I don't know. Doubt it. Doubt it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. So do you think... All right, so... Coach Locke been saying when we were when we were playing, he was like, "Yeah, it was way harder back then with them with the condition. Like we used to, I used to tweet Ten with times. them. Oh my god, don't even get me started. Look. So is it a lot easier now? Yo, son, they get in trouble, like they'll mess up a drill, whatever. Coach says, "Ah, everybody on the line, you guys just don't know how to do this. We'll run all day." Twenty two. I said, "What?" <laughs> Yo, it'd be like, "Yeah, no, um, you know what? Because Pascal wants to talk back. You know what? Now we're all running." Down and back, go. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I would not fear that messing thing. up. That's what I'm would... saying, bro. It used to be a a fit a 55, 55 automatic immediately automatic. Remember when we used to do? Remember when? All right, so did, did y'all start doing four? Y'all did four man touch already? Yeah. Remember when he used to get mad at us because he used to be messing a four man touch? He'd be like, all right, every time you lose, you run a 55, <laughs> bro. And then we would play again. You know what? He didn't get a high hands. On the line, everybody. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, people. Y'all don't know, 55 is five times down and back, like on the baseline. And that junk used to scar me for life, bro. Bro, I used to be looking at the wall like, yo, please, this is gonna be over soon, bro. bro I used to cry, bro. Dang, so we're really, so we're them old heads now? You gotta put it in another word for sense, yeah. We're them old heads now, bro? Bro, I'm looking at it like, I said the coach, I said, coach, I said, they're complaining, but they're lucky. I'm like, when I used to play, it used to be a 55, you giving them down and backs. Really? And then he was like, I don't want to push my luck. I said, it's a little fucking soft. <laughs> and, then, and he said, he said, fuck you. <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah, that's funny as hell, bro. No, that's just crazy. Bro. Oh my gosh. They don't, yeah, it's max, bro. Now, nah, people, I don't think y'all understand how much we ran, especially coming up, bro. Like, it was like it was better like the last year because we was like we was good, mm -hmm. we was winning games. But like the years prior, bro, when I tell you we running, didn't make the playoffs. Oh we my! Don't run. <laughs> we want you to quit. That's what he literally made people run for. He did to get. All right, yeah, just quit. You know, I want you to quit. <laughs> That's crazy work, bro. Is there any walk ons this year? Nah. Ah, uh, they, they can't be like me, bro. Nah. There's not a lot of people like me, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. Well. Ah, uh, he's kind of recruit, so nah. Which is? Well, he's a dark skin kid. He, oh, I thought was the I thought that was the the kid that um, he he I oh, know nah, he came in he came in with like me and um, he came in with Levi, and I think he was like a rapper, and he showed up to a couple of the the workouts, and then he was like, bro, I'm, I don't want to play no more. He be under the he be talking he be commenting under the the podcast. Darren? No, nah, his name's not Darren. His name's I think his name was like Will or something like that. He was one of the kids that came in with uh Levi, like Levi Everett and them. All right, we had like 45 million. Yeah, no, there was a lot of them. Yeah, but man, yeah. yeah, man. Those are some good times, bro. When I uh when we went to our alumni game, I look back, I'm like, dang, bro, we really won the old guys now. And we freaking lost to the older guys, bro. Yeah. Dante sucks, bro. Yeah, Dante did the dumbest. <laughs> he's Why did he shot that step back? I'm like, yo, it's, it's not funny because <laughs> nobody here knows you but us. <laughs> know. So I was like, yo, like pass the ball to him. <laughs> nah, and he missed the he missed the two layups. Oh, I didn't even pee me. You didn't pee. Yo, I think you shot the ball and you missed. And then Dante yeah. tried to tip it in and he oh, missed. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he got the rebound and shot. And he missed again. <laughs> I'm like, nah, yeah. Nah. We booty, bro. We deserve yeah. to lose, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, my gosh. Good times, bro. But I, I don't play basketball no more, bro. I'm a pickleballer. <laughs> through and through, people. But I got some other things we could talk about, Ty. So there's been a lot of speculation about outer space nowadays. I don't know if you've been keeping up with it. I haven't. I just be seeing this stuff come on my TikTok page. 
And there was a, I don't know if you heard it, you know what the James Webb telescope is? Yes. It's that big ass telescope. Yeah, that big ass telescope that they put on the, like, put in space or whatever yeah. to, like, see into, like, deep space. So supposedly they picked up something that they don't know what it is. Oh, great. And it looks this like, great. and, you know, all the people on the internet are saying, oh, it's an alien armada, alien ships coming. But, like, the thing is, the reason why is, so it looks like a cube, right? It looks like a cube, and they're thinking it's, like, like either a big ship, like a big, like, alien mothership or like a bunch of clustered ships coming towards earth oh it's coming towards earth. yeah it's coming towards earth and it says it's they say it's 10 light years away or whatever and it's coming in pretty fast and the reason why they saying it's like a alien ship or whatever because it was on one trajectory one way and then it suddenly turned towards us and now it's coming towards us like it's like not natural it's not like no asteroid where it's just going in a straight line it's like it went this way and then it beelined to us and it looks really weird. And they said it could either come in a couple of years or in a couple of weeks. A couple of years. Yeah. Or a couple of weeks. What a time frame. I First, know. That's what I'm saying, How do you bro? not narrow it down to one of them? <laughs> I don't know. That's a that's a great, that's a a great big... Because maybe they're thinking like it could speed up because it's still light years because it's still like light years away. I don't know how far light years away. I know as far as hell. But 10 light years away doesn't seem that far. But why come here, though? I don't know. Maybe they they're looking for human, looking for life. They're looking for slaves. <laughs> they're looking for slaves. We just talked about slavery. We gonna go back? I can't go back. Nah, I will probably die first. Yeah, no. Nah, I think that's the one I'll go into there's war. No, there's no shot to that. Nah. Wait, it might not be that bad though. Hear me out. Hear me out. Technologically sound. We are technically in slavery right now. Just not called that. Not even, not even a little bit. Look, look, we not, are not even remote. All right, I'm not gonna right. say the word slavery, but it's like we are in the rat race where it's like you gotta work for a job. This not their pay taxes. This, not it's even just, remotely. I'm about you now. I got now. I got tweak. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I feel not even remotely. You can literally not work right now. You could and collect a check from the government for what? Can I do? I'm not working. Oh, I can do that. You know how to, you know, I don't know how to do unemployment. Degrees, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can collect an unemployment check. But it's like it's like a better version of and it. And then you have endless opportunity in America to get jobs, better yourself, start your own stuff. It's all dependent. We're doing a podcast. This is not the rat race. This is not the rat race. <laughs> no, nah, I know. I'm not in the rat race. That's what I'm saying. But there's some people that everybody might be, can do that. There's Every some, single human can do that. Maybe not what in like other countries though. No, oh, in America, I ain't talking Oh, about America, you just... We, you were saying, I don't the know. I, I'm just saying, I don't... Like, if it's aliens, like, imagine it's just, like, futuristic. More futuristic than this, and it's just, like, they're yeah, tricking us. Yeah, but now us. it's even harder to break out. But, like, what if they're, like, tricking us into being slaves? Like, they give us, like, these nice jobs to, like, power their ships, but it's, like, cool. They give us benefits, and they give us food. What benefits would they give us? I don't know. Protection? They just, From what? I don't know. They lie to us saying, like, Galactus is coming. We know Galactus ain't coming. Galactus <laughs> what are they? But like, what they trick us? They be like, I, right, uh, like uh, you can work with us. We're gonna give you benefit. We'll give you all the knowledge of the universe. Oh, can I go to the bar? No, bro. You have to work. But what you? you I mean, we'll give you set a uh, set amount of hours, and then you can go do whatever you want afterwards. I can't call out of work now. I mean, no. Some, some you can. You have days off. No, nah, you don't have no days off. You just you're off on the weekends. That's not cool. That's not fine. You got weekends off, nigga. So we talk about if that's busting for you, nigga. Stop doing the pot. Real quick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this nigga said you get the weekends off and shit. You know, you get a couple hours. You get to choose. <laughs> hey, people, I ain't saying I ain't gonna be a slave, bro. Cause y'all gonna take this out of proportion. There's been a lot of people getting canceled lately. I ain't no. gonna be the one. No, I'm dead. I ain't gonna be the no, one. No and they, and y'all, y'all can't do that to me. But I'm I, thinking, but like, what do they come over here and do? Cause it's like. If they can travel through like the space at light speed, mm -hmm. we're so far behind them. That's like, what are we gonna? Oh, our resources. What if they need our resources? Oh, they're gonna kill us. Like they're gonna take like the power out of the Earth's core. Or what if it's like? What if it's not like a whole civilization? But what if it's like like twenty people in there and they just need help? Like regular, dudes? like they're like <laughs> <laughs> like their planet like 20, got like twenty Tyrones and Darius. Yeah, like, like just, <laughs> twenty regular guys and like their planet just exploded. Yeah, yeah and they're trying to look. We just want to live here with y'all. Like, is that cool? Like, we, we'll be, can we become a citizen? Would you vibe with them? Would you say his stuff? Uh, sh it'd be, I think it'd be more fun to be racist. I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> to like, be you, racist? You're not, you're not from here, gang. What if they kind of look like us? That's what I'm saying. But still, no. That's a clown. I'm like, don't let them be in Newark. They won't make it. Actually, they won't make it. 
They won't make it Any, anywhere. <laughs> you know in, in, in the world. In, in the world. Where's the nicest place you know? Oh, um, no, I was gonna say Fiji. They got um cannibals in there. Uh, um, what's that place in Canada? What's that place in Canada? Vancouver? Name? No, not Vancouver. Toronto? Not Toronto. Montreal? Not Montreal. It's in the middle. It's in the middle, close to the border. There's there's one city, Ottawa. Ottawa, Canada. They're gonna go there. Yep. And this is why they won't survive. They're gonna go there. <laughs> And they're gonna struggle because it's two languages, right? what French and they speak. Oh yeah, they do speak French. And then they're gonna struggle, and they're not gonna understand the difference between like the houses in the forest, and they're in the middle of Canada. Because yeah. in the middle is by Montana. They're gonna end up going somewhere. And there's gonna be a, a walk towards the border. And there's gonna be a, a, a border patrol guy like, get your black ass down. You know what I'm saying? And they <laughs> and he might shoot him, or he might. What is that? Oh, is that a, is that for me? And then he's gonna die, or they're not gonna understand. Like he's yeah. getting colder. How do I fix this? Excuse me. And they're gonna get cooked. So that's how they're gonna get cooked. Or they're gonna frustrate somebody so much to where everybody like separates from. Like, all right, these guys can't be there, and they're gonna keep shipping them place to place. Yeah. And then eventually somebody's gonna get fed up and murk them. Mm. What if what if the aliens come down and they're black? It's just a group. It's a group of black people, but they're just like they have like um, like uh, they like futuristic. How would you feel? Like, would you think like I tell them? Mm. Because you know that's what some people be believing. It's very weird. They gotta go to slavery first, bro. <laughs> they gotta go back because <laughs> some people be believing like we came from there's like a higher being. What'd you just What'd you just look at? Your picks didn't hit, bro. From prize picks, use code no regulars. Intermission, quick. We'll be right back. We have a we have a commercial for y'all. We'll be right back. Tyrone's gonna show me something. Prize picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win ten times the amount of money that I put in. Prize picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries. Less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS as sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N O R G U L A R S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry, and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. Max. All right, anyway, sorry. Um, Just be like, we're back. It's Max. I had to drink Dodge Boot for that one. Oh. Uh. Is we still in intermission, or are you guys... No, we're cooked. Yeah, we're good now. We're good. All right, we're, we're back. Buddies, uh, <laughs> we're back, people. But... Tyrone said burn, burn slavery. But I, hey, so what all right, so if aliens did come down, do you think they will what do you think will happen? You think they will try to be our friends or they'll try to kill us? Nah, if they made it here, they're trying to go for our resources. So I think they're gonna take like our trees. Oh really? Like I think they're gonna come here and like take something minorly no, something minorly inconvenient, but then it's gonna bother us, like our wind. <laughs> like whatever, you know, earth rotates, they're gonna take something and like now the earth doesn't rotate, we're not gonna have wind anymore. I think they'll go for stuff like metal. Like, or like no, they probably silver. will, but like, it's, it's something that we're going to be like, yo, what the hell? And then the world's going to go to shit. Or like, they might mess up our magnetic they're, field. They're going to take all of our magnesium. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're going to take, yeah. take like all of our freaking like sea moss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Just some random thing. Something that we don't even think about. And then we'll be like, ah, sure, take it. And we'll take the sea moss. And then now like, we're cooked. The fish died and this died. And yeah, and we end up dying. Oh. Yeah. Yo, what did they take the salt out of the ocean? They're going to take bro. all the bark off of every tree. Oh, that's and it, It's going to be like, why'd you do that for? Imagine they say, oh, we're going to take every flower. And like, it's like, dang, now the bees don't can't pollinate. This, that, and third. Like, oh, no, no. We t- they take literally every single rose or flower and now we can't grow food. They're- that's OD. What the hell? How does that even correlate? That's that's what I'm saying. That's some random stuff. No, bro, stuff. we need all your copper. Like, <laughs> like, what the hell? You see that rubber stuff you have? We need it. 
That's, rubber. They're going to take all the rubber, all the plastic. And then our dumbass be like, yeah, you can have it. And then in 20 years, we're going to be freaking have the global warming is just going to skyrocket, whatever. Yeah, but hey, man, I don't know. I'm going to keep. So, so, so supposedly the whole thing is like, I guess NASA didn't say nothing about it. But like, if you look on the website, it says like unfounded. So it's not true, but it's also not false. So they're not saying nothing about it. So I don't know. If there's a because that I think that they tells, confirm aliens already, so everything they say is true. Yeah, so they did confirm they did confirm aliens, and I think that that telescope fa- said that they found like there is like has proof that there's life outside of our galaxy. Oh no, yeah, we're, yeah. Like they said, they seen other galaxies that weren't in the same place that where we thought it was. So I was like, damn, like how much how wrong could we possibly be, bro? But hey, man, and in, in my lifetime, will we see aliens? Uh, we're back, people. If you're kind of confused of what just happened, um, wait, what happened? No, I just. Oh, you just pointed out. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Yeah. If you if you're confused of what happened and why we're wearing different clothes, uh, we were shooting this podcast a couple of days ago and my laptop died, so we were able to get the footage back and the uh recording. So we're decide we're recording this on Sunday night, and yeah, shout out to Tyrone. Tyrone, thank you for coming back. We're back, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And he has some words to tell you guys before we continue the podcast. First of all, you know what really pisses me off? What pisses you off? Anthony Richardson, straight up. So, first of all, <laughs> Anthony Richardson. <laughs> definition of soft football player. <laughs> Yo, like, like, I, like, you can't be a first-round pick the savior of a franchise and then sub out of a game, and then you get benched because they're like, Yo, you weren't even doing that good to begin with. It's yeah, not like, like uh, who's a, a, a really good rookie right now? Like Jaden Daniels. Yeah. It's not like you really got the team on your back. Yeah. And you're like, coach, I just need I need one I need one possession off. Yo, he was doing really yeah, bad. I bet Jaden. Don't even worry about it. You <laughs> sure? Alright, let me just go to the tenant. You're already doing bad. We're gonna play Flacco. <laughs> we'll draft somebody next year. Like you can't do that, bro. So and you think his job is over? Or you Nah, think- I mean, maybe if they were gonna bench him, they should have not let him play this year. Uh huh. But then on top of that, it's like like I think you can't sub out when you're doing bad and then say you're tired when you're an NFL athlete. And not only that, he's not known for his skill. He's yeah. known for, for his athleticism. I know. So if you're known for your athleticism, you need to be in the best shape. Like, I know. It's so bad. And like you're in the league. Literally. And I don't want to hear nothing in the comments about some, um, oh, you probably never worked as hard as he. Oh, you know, it's hard to go every possession for 18 games. I don't get paid $20 million to play a sport. Lit- I swear to Somebody make it happen. Just pay me, pay me sixty thousand dollars <laughs> right now. I promise you, I'll be in better shape than anybody you've ever met in your life. That's what I'm saying. These like people, OD. these people act like they're not. This is their job. This is literally what you do every day in your life. And like, yeah, but he has injuries, and you know, he had a broken rib. That sounds really good. It does. It sounds really good. But I promise you, I'm not hearing their excuse. I'm not. I can't go for the excuses. I can't. I can't go. For, it's soft, bro. Cuz went. I, just, I looked at the stats because they showed it on mm-hmm. during the game. He was 10 for 32. 175. <laughs> Bro, he has like two really good receivers. He never hits them. Pittman and Downs. He That's what I'm have, saying. Even like, though even though the one rookie they just drafted from Texas, he's not that bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, yo, even if they put, like, my thing is, like, when they put Flacco in and Flacco gets, like, mad yards and all that, Flacco's a backup quarterback now. I mean, yeah, he was good before, but now... How Anthony Richardson, bro? He literally You're wasn't not learning nothing. Yo, he was he was sitting on the couch this this time last year. Did he get picked up by the Broncos like like more than halfway through the season last no, year? The Browns, yeah. Oh, the Browns. I said yeah, Broncos. Yeah, he got he got dropped by the Broncos. He yeah. wasn't even supposed to play this year. Look at Cuz. It just threw him into fire. He's not even doing bad. He's hooping. That's crazy work. He's bro. in a dog fire right now. Hey, Anthony Richardson, if you're watching this, if you see this clip, you're doing bad, brother. <laughs> you're, you're doing bad. very bad. Yeah, but the one thing, something I want to ask you, Ty. Yeah. And it was going from the last podcast is so we get this might this might sound deep, but it's really not. Mm. So have I got a question. I want to talk about dreams, right? Okay. So I have a question, right? So has your dream in life changed from when you were younger till now, or is it still the same dream of like what you want to be? Yo, when I was younger, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna sound crazy. <laughs> I didn't even really have dreams. Like yo, guys <laughs> had no dreams. I, I was yo, I trying to fit in, yo. So like, <laughs> yeah, yo, this is why when you get bullied too young, bro, you gotta learn somehow. Like, 
Like you can't be bullied forever, cause if you get bullied forever, you will literally. <laughs> that's how you still become a bum. <laughs> Like usually, like if you get bullied, you're supposed to become like, oh, now you're Bill Gates and shit. Yeah. Like Zuckerberg definitely got bullied. And oh now, yeah, yeah, now yeah, he's yeah. cooking everybody. Yeah, yeah. But my thing is like, all right. So when I was younger, I really have like, so whenever somebody asked me like after the fifth grade, what do you want to be? You grow up. I always said marine biologist, and I'm coming out with it now. The only reason that I said marine <laughs> biologist is because, shout out to Andrew Kelly. I had a a, a kid in my class named Andrew Kelly, and they were going around the room icebreaker time. First day of fifth grade. You feel me? Now I got new students in here. I'm about to make friends. What do you want to be? What do you want to be? I didn't know what the hell I wanted to be. I literally was clueless. I'm just like. <laughs> and then they asked Andrew, who went two people before me, what do you want to be? I want to be a marine biologist. So you thought that was tough. I said, that was the hardest thing anybody said in the room. <laughs> and you said. Anybody said in the room. And she started from Z. So she went to Z to be, you know, my last name. Is oh, Bones. so you was so like, I'm like last. I'm one of the last people. <laughs> and then Andrew Kelly went. I was like, oh. Then they went another person. Another person. I was like, I don't know. So Tyrone, what do you want to be? A uh, marine biologist. <laughs> oh wow, we have two. I said, yeah, I've always wanted to be a marine biologist <laughs> yeah. for a long time. I love the water. I love to swim. I love uh, animals. I think it'll be great. <laughs> Stole his whole thing, bar for bar, word for word. Wow. He looked at me like you lying. <laughs> No D. We were never friends either. Wow. So you just thought it was cool? You know what's crazy? I need to sound cool, cuz. The crazy thing is you got a degree almost similar, didn't you? Env uh, environmental science. Like you got somewhere yeah, in there. So, yeah, science. science is right. It hit different. But literally, like, even go like I was gelling off of that up until I got to high school, like my sophomore year, cuz. And so I <laughs> Are you was like serious? maybe like my freshman sophomore year. I was like, my, I even told my mom I want to be a marine biologist. Did and you know what a marine biologist was though? I probably found out like Three years later, like maybe seventh <laughs> or eighth grade. Really? And I was like, yo, I'm not going to lie. This shit's type ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really bad. I'm not going to lie. It's I'll, pretty booty. Oh, like, yeah. That's type trash. Like you're literally just going like in the ocean. And that's dangerous as hell. Yeah. Like you're going in the ocean, like dissecting like coral. Yo. And maybe some fish you if you're You might find cool. a whale, but then they might kill you. Yeah. And like, if you're on like the, the floating bases thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like the flooding. little oil rig? Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. No, the you're oil rig about. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, like, it, it looks like one. It looks like oil rig, but it's like for like science and stuff? Yeah. That's they, what I'm saying. Where they don't even get, like, I'm like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, this is boring as hell. What if I, <laughs> and then your family can't be there? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> What <laughs> you, the hell? Cuz done walked into a mess, bro. He didn't even know. I was like, yo, get out of my face. But now, nah, it's different. It's more like, I mean, now it's like more like uh, anything in the sciences field, like public health, but like something important. And what I think important work is, is like in the government. So yeah. I, I, I literally, sound not to discredit anybody else in the world, but I don't, <laughs> like I think the most important jobs are like military and government jobs. So, so that's why I think. Government that. officials? No. Not them. We, senators and them, no. Like, oh, like... Uh, like... The fighters? Law enforcement. Oh, enforcement. Well, not even law enforcement. Like, special investigations. Ah. Uh, like, military. Protecting... Basically, protecting the people here. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Senators and stuff, we... They're not that good right now. So, yeah, like, no, you feel me? Like, We're not, yeah, speaking of that, did you vote? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you threw that yeah, in there. Because, yeah, Loki, yeah. when this come out, it's really around that time. Yeah, yeah. The votes are tally on Tuesday. Yeah. Wait, isn't it... Oh yeah, this Tuesday, Tuesday. Last day, yeah. Oh crap, I gotta go. Did you vote? Nope. Got him. Did you? Yo, I went to vote. Line was too long. I turned my hair. <laughs> Wait, where'd you go? Me and my girl went to King. First of all, she was like, Yeah, we could vote in Newark. I was like, We can't. He was like, I was like, I bet we'll go. We went to uh Essex County. They were like, Oh, you have to be uh a Essex Newark? County re resident. Oh uh, Okay, so then we went to uh what was it called? Um Keene. And the line was long as hell. I was like, I'm out of here. You can't go to like Livingston no more? If it's Union County. Anywhere in Union County. Like, no, I meant like Livingston, like, like our yeah, elementary yeah, school. I don't think they're open on the weekend. Uh, okay. Because that's where I always go. I always go to Livingston, bro. Like, like, on the like, Monday. Like, tomorrow we're going tomorrow, like 6 a.m. Six? She has work and then I were. Yeah. Dang. Hey, you really, he committed for this. <laughs> I, got, I got class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, respect. I'll be taking her work anyway in the morning. So. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. But hey, bro. Nah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I was younger, there was something in me. I, w I wanted to be a zoologist. Do you know why? Why? <laughs> you have no pets. <laughs> I, don't, you have, I don't have no you have pets. No pets. <laughs> Yo, it's because I used to watch a lot of Animal Planet, okay. and I always wanted to be a, a zookeeper, like uh, okay. like Steve Irwin and all them. Okay, he, he died. I no, he, he got cooked. Yeah, he got cooked. Like, I always wanted to be like, you know how they... Um, I, I remember there was a show on uh, Discovery Kids, 
it was it was a show where it was like kids from like the United States and the UK would go to Florida. <laughs> 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 they'll go to Florida and they'll be zookeepers for like the summer and it looked mad cool oh you wanted to be in that show yeah I wanted to be like that oh, and th- what I learned bro when I tell you uh, sophomore year I did a zookeeper for a day at a turtleback zoo <laughs> yo what I tell you like I, I changed real quick cause yeah, one yeah, yeah, cause one right you can't touch the animals in New Jersey like you can't like as, as a zookeeper as a zookeeper you can't go into the the actual zoo Why? Because it's like in like different states, there's different laws. So like in California, you can go in and like touch the animals and actually like be like intimate with the animals, mm-hmm. like hold them and stuff. But like in New Jersey, you gotta be like, like at a distance. Like in a, they have to be in a cage. You feed them like that. It's just yeah. different states is different rules. So when I heard that, I was like, all right, that's strike one. I don't know yeah. about that. Yeah. And then we they brought us all. So we walked around the uh, the the zoo, and then they brought us in this little classroom and we sat down and they was asking us questions about animals. And I didn't know nothing. I didn't know. And there was mad. Still didn't know. Yo, I didn't know a clue about nothing. Like, they was asking us mad anatomy questions. And this one girl was just, like, raising her hand and answering everything like a know-it-all. It was pissing me I off. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? That's not for me. I was like, nah. Yeah. And then that's when I, this, and then I was still hooping and stuff. But I think for me, bro, I ain't gonna lie. When I was younger, I used to watch Rob Dyrdek a lot. And I always used to want to be just like that, bro. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, doing stuff. Like fun stuff, fun stuff, but like making money off of it. Yeah, but I don't know how he did it, brother. I ain't gonna lie, he's a genius. Yeah, he got yeah. But respect to that, brother. But I, hey, hopefully, God willing, with all this stuff with the podcast, we could do the same thing. Look, I guess I'm on the right path. Yeah, he went but, he in the right direction. Cause I ain't gonna lie, well, I used to watch the um, I don't know if you watched on MTV, like uh, they had Robin Big. Him and his like big ass bodyguard, the black dude. Yes, yes. It yes, was yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. And then they had uh, his fantasy factory. We had like a big ass warehouse. Rob Diddick. Yeah. 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 And then he had like a basketball hoop, and he had like a freaking ramp in there. Yeah. And I used to want. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Did, I, I know he was a like a professional skateboarder, but like, what else does he do? But like, I know because I think he was like a entrepreneur, like making. I think he like owned like a sneaker company and shit. That's how he started off. Yeah. Hey, but I I just want to talk about that. Because I remember I was uh now I was uh watching a video about actual dreams, right? Right. So I was curious, right? You know, for one third of our lives, we are asleep and we don't even know what the hell happens in them. Like like is that not creepy? Like for a third of your life, for thirty three percent of your life, you are asleep. Cause think about it, you you're awake, you go to sleep for eight hours a day, and you're only up for sixteen. So that's already a third of your day you're asleep. And nobody knows what the hell happens. Hmm. And it's just like... And that's not even you take a nap. Not, not even just like your body. It's just like your mind and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm what the hell... Like, is your mind just like off and like your mind is like creating dreams for you? Or do you like... Yeah, like where are these memories coming from? They're not even real memories. That's what I'm saying. And you know, a lot of times I'd be having dreams and it'd be like, they come true. It's like, like on some weird Max shit. imagination. No. And he'll see something be like, deja vu, what's that from? Yeah, and that's it's a, like the same thing that happened in your dream. That's what I'm saying. That's mad. We, like, I had it, yo, I literally had it on Thursday. We had a we had a volleyball game and we mm-hmm. lost. And I remember I had a deja vu where I'm like, yo, I've seen this before. Like, we lost the game and I looked at the ske- like our schedule to see where our seating was and we were, went from second to third. And, and I'm like, see. I'm like, that's, all right, that's kind of weird. But so recently, there was a company that did a test with like dreams and stuff. And they hooked up two people. They put them in two separate rooms and they hooked them up to like a little device and they put something on their head and they were able to communicate through their dreams, bro. Mm-hmm. So they were able to say the same exact like word or hear the same word in their dreams and they both like, like recognize when it happened. Yeah. Recognize when it happened. And when they woke up, they was like, yeah, they was like, what word did you guys hear or something like that? Like yeah, in your dreams yeah. or what word did you tell him? And he yeah. said, and he told him the word. So their people are thinking like, maybe it's like you go somewhere in your dream, like on some uh Doctor Strange type. Yeah, not, was I, that Doctor Strange? I heard, I heard they were able to communicate in their dream, like the, the thing. Yeah, and then I also, well, so I know some people be talking about like there be certain drugs that people do, like psychedelics mm. that get that like basically you end like enter like a dream state. So like people do like psychedelics together. Yeah, then they go on a whole like dream adventure together. Mm. I, is it not LSD? Uh, it might be LSD. It might be LSD or like horse tranquilizer. I don't know. So. <laughs> <laughs> or some, like, nah, they do be taking some wild so yeah, stuff. some heavy drug but I know people used to do that or people do that and then like they'll hallucinate and go into dream and they'll have the same exact everything oh, that's happening really that's what they say so I don't know 
I'm not gonna find out. Yeah, that, no, I'm, I'm not gonna find out that way. But yeah. like, <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying? But then also yeah. like being in dreams. Like if that's the first step, that means the way things be moving with technology, give it like ten years. Yeah, we're gonna be dreaming together. Nah, you going to sleep? Let me hop. <laughs> you let me hop in your dream. Let me, let me slide with you, bro. I'm, yeah. bored, I'm bored as hell. You about to dream? I'm trying to see what's going on. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That yeah. is true though. Yo, somebody can hijack your dream, break into your dream, like on some play, like on some you SpongeBob dreaming, shit. And then, like, say you dreaming, you just laying there, knocked, and then I just bust through the. <laughs> like, I just come in and you're like, "Whoa, Ty, what are you doing?" Like, yeah, bro, you in a dream right now? You ain't even know it, huh? <laughs> and I just like smack you. I'm like, lame man. <laughs> and then and then leave. Like, yeah, like, like on wait, the- or I smack you and wake you up. Oh, that's funny as hell. Then I'm not here. I was in the dream. I'm not here. I'm at my crib. Oh, I really? Just, I just broke it. Yeah, I just broke into your dream from a distance. Nah, that's now, I, OD. I could be in Japan and I break into your dream. Nah, that'd be nah, that'd be OD, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Do, yo, can you control your dreams? There's like a like lucid dreaming. People be doing. It. I remember in uh, seventh grade, me and a homie did a project. Yeah, a lucid dreaming. So like that, it got to a point where we were able to like control like half of it it takes practice yeah 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 so people be lucid dreaming like practicing for mad long yeah yeah and it's like you can't see numbers in, all the things that can't happen you can't see numbers in your dreams which I don't believe is true because I definitely see numbers in my dreams but is that why when people say like if you see numbers in your dreams like put that in the lottery or something like that I think so cause that's what I be that's what my mom said like if you see dreams if you see numbers in your dream that must mean something like put that in the yeah. lottery immediately yeah I don't know but lucid dream like that's what I'm saying like it would be max I you know what I would do what? I would break into RJ Bear's dream. And then what? Smack him awake. Just just to mess with him? Now I would mess with a bunch of celebrities though. Yeah. It'd be crazy if I'm like They'd have like mad like cyber se- like dream security though. Oh like they a have bread. Like I don't want niggas coming to my dream. <laughs> like they have like a yeah. like a lockdown browser. RJ Towns have a bad game. You know how many New Yorkers would be dr- Oh my god, bro. <laughs> They'll jump him in his dream. You go say me yeah. <laughs> get your ass beat. Yo, come dream. here. <laughs> Start dogging, man. Yo, like, now I ain't gonna lie. I'll really be jump. I'll jump in people's dream and like scare them. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, people piss me off. Yeah, I'll get. Cause it. I ain't gonna. I try to do that lucid dream and stuff, but it was too much work. Yeah, it's, it's like you have to like stand, like sleep still or something like that, and like keep. Yeah. I don't know. I think my mom. My mom says she controls her dreams, but it's like so she has like like a similar dream every night where she dreams about her being on a beach. And, like, she doesn't use an alarm clock, but, like, she knows when she's, like, oversleeping if, like, the dream changes. So, like, say she's on a beach in, like, Aruba, and then, like, clouds come in. Then she's, like, oh, she's oversleep. Like, she has to wake up. And then that's when she wakes up. Time out. Every night she has a dream on the beach, bro? That's what she tells me, bro. I ain't glad it's bad dreams, bro. <laughs> that's, nah, a, that's, that's a bad dream. That's a I would hate to go to sleep. <laughs> I already know what I'm about to see. I'm about to go to sleep and see clouds. Yeah. yeah right, it's a, like, peace time. Like tranquility type of thing. Like she's like a, it's like a sunset. But if she sees like storms coming in or if like a random person comes in or something, you gotta wake up. You gotta wake. She gotta wake up. But like for me, bro, I remember I used to have some. I used to have some. Like I remember somebody told me you can't get hurt in your dreams, and like that's how you wake up. Like if you're having a bad yeah. dream, you gotta like kill yourself. And I used to do that all the time. I ain't gonna lie. What? You didn't. You didn't know about that? No, I know, but I would never kill myself. Yeah, I did. Whenever I recognized I was in a dream, I would be like, "This is lit." <laughs> you know what happened? Every time I recognized I was in a dream, like people would, or I'd wake up, like so I'd recognize, and then like no kind of like a movie, like <laughs> if I'm with somebody, like they'll like knock me out or like yeah. stab me or like then the floor will start breaking and I have to like run away. Yeah, I can't run. Like, <laughs> nah, that's od. Remember, I recognized I was in a dream. Those aliens, my mom got kidnapped by aliens, and I'm like, wait a second. I'm like trying to get to her, and I so I'm like, I'm in a dream, and everything just started crumbling. I was like, oh, oh no, nah, that's, that's od, that's od, that's od. Yeah, it was max. It was nah, I think the, the last dream I had, I remember it was. I can go. I had some emotional ass dream. My dad, <laughs> it was like we was doing a pot. My dad walked in, was like you still doing this dumbass pot? <laughs> <laughs> he tweaked on me. It was od. I'm like, damn. And I was like, I just like, I was like frustrated. I was just like, You're still doing this. <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm like, I hope that's not no uh, deja vu moment. That'd be OD. He do be cooking. This is pretty easy. <laughs> and then I remember I had a dream. Like, yo, this is some weird ass dream. I was in Jersey City with Jay. And we was, um, we was riding our bikes over that bridge. I don't know if you're like, you know, going to Jersey City, there's like a bridge. And it's like next to like a yeah, like a softball field. And like, there's like a checker sign. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we was going over that bridge and we see somebody. 
uh, parachuting in. And I'm like, we're like, Jay, let's go follow him. So we follow Cuz. Yeah. And then I, like, we ended up at this house randomly. And then the guy pulled up and was like, he had a gun. And he, and then I think like, uh, he was about to get Jay. And I was like, bruh. Oh, no, no, no. This is what happened. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened. We we went to the crib and we found the guy. So lo- the guy was like a criminal. Yeah. And I'm telling Jay, I'm like, Jay, I think this guy is a criminal. Like, we have to leave. And she's like, no, nah, no, nah, he's cool. He's cool. And then the guy's like <laughs> chatting up, being funny. I'm like, bro, there's no way. And then literally, as soon as we sit down on the couch next to him, the cops bur- come in. And I'm like, there's no way. And then he grabs me like, he grabs Jay. And I'm just like, I, I just roll into his arms like this. I'm like, here, grab me. And then he goes like this. He puts the gun on here. He's like, yo, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I'm just like, there's no way this is happening right now. Because I literally just told this woman he's a criminal. And I just closed my eyes. And then I woke up. I think he just killed me. Yeah, I think he definitely he, offed you in that dream. Yeah, he, he off the hell. Like, I'm like, nah, bro. Nah. But now I have another question. Have yeah. you ever had uh, sleep paralysis? I asked Jason this before. He's, I ain't gonna lie. Jason has some really like terrible dreams like he has nightmares every day like he needs help he, he yeah, needs psychotic say, he needs to go to like therapy yeah he used to um, tell yeah. me a lot he had like stuff like that where you feel like people crawling on him and like somebody he can't move and he sees like figures like not i don't see figures i have sleep paralysis but i just like kind of see but i just can't move oh really and i'll be like hot and uncomfortable that's all yeah I, I don't see nothing like i know i'm i'm like oh wake up yeah like yo i hate that like it'll literally be like i'll take a nap mm-hmm and I'll be like anxious to wake up. So my body will wake up, but I'm so tired I'm sleeping. Yeah. And then literally I'll be like, wait, no, come on. I hear the alarm and I'm like, and I'll literally fight everything in my body and finally <laughs> I'll wake up. Yeah. Be max. That's just mad weird. I remember I had a, no, I had the, there was this one scary ass dream. I thought I got possessed, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was, I remember it was, we was in my room, we was in my room right here and Jay was here. And I remember I had a, I had a mirror right here before like the, the pots up and whatever. Mm-hmm. I had a long mirror. And I remember Jay, we watched. Um, I, I Jay Jay knows this. I don't like like that Candyman stuff or that Bloody Mary stuff. Yeah. yeah and Jay be messing with me, and she'd yeah. be like, she'd be like Candyman. I'm like, yo, relax, chill out. Like and like, she like, I hate the dark too. She turned the lights off. I'm like, yo, chill out. So in the dream, she's like, look at the mirror. She's like, Candyman, Candyman. I'm like, Jay, please don't say yeah. it. And she's like, what? Just don't say it. And then she said it, and I'm like, no. And then I froze. And then I was like, and then I hear a big ass ringing in my ear, like a, ee! and then I'm like going like this. I'm like, oh no, I'm cooked. I'm dead. I'm like, I say no. Like I literally say no. I freeze and I tense up and there's like a big, like a sharp ringing in my ear. Oh, like, you, like, you like cooked. a grenade went off. You were cooked. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I was, cooked. I was, I was so scared, bro. Oh my God, bro. But nah, bro. I think with dreams, people, a lot of people are starting to say like dreams is like you go into like another realm. And maybe, maybe sometimes it's like you can tap into like maybe like another realm in your mind where it's like things of that nature could happen. Or maybe it's just something other, like out of body type of thing, which I don't, I don't know about all that. That's kind of OD. Like, I don't know about them out of body experiences. Cause a lot of people believe in that stuff, especially the know. people. Yeah. I, I don't got, yeah. That's too much. I got too much to worry about. Yeah. You know no, too much out of body. Cause if it's like, Nah, I don't think you. I think it's just like you're just deep in your head. Yeah, because the brain is mad powerful. That's what I'm saying. I feel like, I feel like the brain is so powerful. The more you unlock things, like you could probably connect to other people if you like unlock certain parts of your brain, especially in certain situations. But I don't think you like float off into like a freaking. I Loki like like the fun side of me think is like you know what they were saying like Doctor Strange where like your dreams like like when you dream it's like you're in another reality or something like that yeah. of yourself and that's why deja vu moments happen. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, how I think. Yeah. I think that's just cool to think about. I don't think that's true most of the time, yeah. but it's like imagine it's like because you know there's like imagine there's like different versions of yourself and like mm-hmm. when you dream you just like you go into that that a different version of yourself's body right. and you're just doing things and then maybe it lines up what you're doing in your life and that's where you have deja vu moments. Like it'd be something simple, like you go yeah. to like quick check one day. Something that's gonna happen, or something like you kind of that you do already. Yeah, yeah. Different outcomes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So maybe I don't know, but I got some questions to ask you, Ty. All right. So this is a question for me and you, bro. So me and you have to jump these people. What are the odds that we'll be able to succeed? Okay. Okay. Prime Cam Newton. Like a percentage wise. Nah, we lost. Like with Luke, like there's no chance. Yeah, he's six six, two eighty. And, really? he, and, and, he's, <laughs> and he's a hood nigga. But he did get jumped by them high school kids. But there was a lot of them. He ain't lose. 
He didn't lose? I thought he got he his good. ass. He good right now. <laughs> yeah, he, we lost that, bro. We lost that? Yeah, we lost that, bro. He's strong as hell. <sighs> Big as hell. What if it was now Cam Newton with the dreads? Right now, is it? Yeah, with the dreads and the, the cowboy hat. Oh, that's the one I was talking about. Oh, shoot. I bet. Yeah, prime, we lost, oh, prime oh, Cam Newton. We don't even. Come on, bro. We're super cooked. Now. Okay. All right. Yeah, 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 we're cooked. All right. Now, LeBron James. Like LeBron James right now. All right. So, this is the only thing. <laughs> we don't have, you could take probably 10 me's and 10 you's and we're cooked. There's no <laughs> fathomable opportunity reality where we even harm LeBron. Do you think LeBron can fight? I've never seen him fight, fight better than us. I don't think so. I've never seen LeBron fight. I've never seen him throw a punch. You don't need to because niggas know not to fight him. Oh, because he just big. You ever see somebody try I to fight I think we LeBron? can take it down LeBron, bro. Nah. Why not? He's 6'8". You six eight. Two sixty. I'm not two sixty. And okay. I'm not Braun. Uh, okay, you I am you two <laughs> <laughs> you six eight, two thirty. I'm I'm a I'm gonna tackle Braun. Right? Yeah, I'm here with you. And he's it's gonna not pick just... me up and throw me off him. He's strong and he's smart as hell. He's gonna outsmart niggas. He not outsmarting us in combat. He might outsmart us in the game he of basketball. Will. He probably will outsmart us in combat. I think we have a You ever seen Braun make a wrong decision? Exactly. You've never seen LeBron James make the wrong decision. Wait. They're, You've they're, never seen him. The reason he hasn't been in a fight because he's never made a wrong. Anybody who ever thought I'm gonna fight LeBron, they know he he should have went to the Knicks in 2011 or 2010. No, he went somewhere else. No, he should have went to the Knicks. He went to got a ring. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> it should have been New York, bro. No. Miami already had a ring, bro. Okay, whatever. All right, Prime Le- Ray Lewis. Yeah, he look old. Oh, Prime. Never mind. Um, <laughs> nah, he been to jail too. Cooked. He's strong, bro. I don't even want to try that. He gave people concussions for fun. How tall is Ray Lewis? Like 6'2"? Maybe like 6'1". Six 6'1"? One. Six one? Eh, that's not... No, oh, no. That's not... I think he's going he gonna to beat me up probably really badly. And then I'm dead too. And then <laughs> and then you're going to have to clean I can up. I beat him one-on-one. Yeah, that's over. I think he's he going to go for me first. He's 280. 6'1", 280. And all these two. scenarios, I'm, going, I'm, I'm probably going to get... Like I'm the bait. You could grab a leg, but he used to run through 400 pound linemen for fun. That is true. And he was Hall of Fame. He was the best to ever do that. Yeah, no, I, I give ourselves a survival rate of like 15. percent I give it three percent. Three percent. Okay. Get lucky he falls. All right, Khabib. Next, we lost. Okay, <laughs> I saw. You. I thought he was gonna say immediate, we won. Immediate loss. All right. No, no shot. And the last one, which we might have a chance, is Wemby. I just don't know. Seven, yeah, I think we beat Wemby. I think we could beat Wemby too. I just think, but yeah, I'll get him in a headlock. As but well, seven five, I don't even know what that looked like. You could tackle him, bro. He's I weigh more than him. What is he like two fifteen? Yeah, it's two. Oh he's really? Like Twenty. Yeah. Oh shoot. No, I would ta- I'll shoulder him to the ground. Then we get him in a headlock. Pin one of his arms down. Break it. Yeah. Oh, we good? Yeah, he's cooked. Mm. He doesn't. He doesn't make it. Yeah, seven for five, two fifty. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. His reach probably od though. Hey, just as long as you get cousin the ground, we good, bro. Yeah, I think I think it's good. Speaking of sports, um, I'm gonna go to a Devils game this weekend. I'm gonna talk about it on the pod next weekend. It's my first ever. NFL. Really? Yeah, just literally tickets fifteen dollars. About to buy them right now. You using C- uh, no, Code No Regas with Seagate? Oh, speaking of that, <sighs> running back. I'm gonna go to the, <laughs> the Devils game this weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the Devils game this weekend. Uh, me, Steve, Kenny, and Kai just bought our tickets on SeatGeek. So yes, and sir. they were. Fifteen dollars. Ah, yes, that would be. So, um, we're gonna try and get two more people, and we're gonna get our little discount in there, and uh, they're basically free if you, you know, we're using the code. You hit different. Hey, use code no regulars for Seat Geek. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? I'm going to a Knicks game. When? The twelfth. Did you use the code? <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of course I did. No, I, <laughs> of course, <laughs> no regulars. Me, yeah. me and J- oh, oh, my parents not gonna watch this. Me and Jay going to the first uh, NBA Cup game in Philly. Knicks oh, play the Sixers the twelfth uh, this this month. Oh, with the cup, the you know the NBA cup. Oh yes, yes. The, oh yeah, I I watched uh, the Sixers one. I went and watched one. Oh really? Yeah, Wait, the in tournament the, in the in season tournament. Yeah, you went in the Philly. Oh, you went to Philly. Oh, yeah, that's I, I got a shirt in there. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what we're. Oh, they give out shirts. Yeah, for free. Yeah. Oh, because it's a cup. So like, you know, how the courts are different. Yeah, they want all the fans to kind of hype up. Oh, I, I was there for. 
They played the Grizzlies. It didn't care. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, we play. They playing the Knicks. I even know. That's Knicks jersey. Nah, I don't know. I might. Nah, I don't have a Knicks jersey. Wait, I do have. I might. You don't I have a Knicks jersey, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. I have a Knicks phone finger. Though. I might you don't bring have that. A mellow, you have a mellow jersey. I do. I don't know where it's at. Oh, I was about to say. It's like, I think it's like under my bed or something. But I remember. Um. Oh crap! What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, if you go to the Devils game, right? I heard it's mad fun. But I remember uh, Chris went to the Devils game, and, what? and he uh. He didn't like. He had a. Uh, he just b- brought his um only hockey jersey, but it was a Rangers jersey. Why? Yo, they had Cuz on the jumbotron, and they're clowning him. Yes, <laughs> they're like, look at this Rangers fan, and they was like, he was like, what the hell? Why is everybody looking at me? And then he looks up, and he's on the big screen, and everybody's going like, boo, <laughs> and he didn't know what was going on, bro. That joke is no, too funny. So. I'm gonna buy if if they win, and I I'm gonna bet, and I make money. Yeah, I'm gonna bet with prize picks. Yes, sir. Another plug. If I, <laughs> if I if I and they win and like I hit my bets, I'm gonna um, what's it called? I'm gonna buy a double jersey. Is this your first like hockey game that you've been to of all time? Mm. And I'm drinking mad piss. <laughs> <laughs> mad piss. I man. heard that's what they be doing that a lot over there, bro. Yeah, I'm about to tweak. I heard hockey games is kind of fun, low key. Yeah, like they, so. There's a bar right next to Prudential that's jumping. We went there just for like for fun. Yeah, and like. It was jumping like hella people for hundred. Really? Yeah, so I'm going again. That's tough. That's tough. Wait, so uh, did you see like any seats or like how close the seats were, or was it just like? Yeah, seats were no. Nah, they're gonna be like nosebleeds. They're fifteen dollars. Oh, so it's on the top. Yeah, I don't give a damn. That's not that bad though. Prudential's not that big. Pr- yeah, exactly. So you still gonna miss? You might have Loki better even, angles even, from up there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if it wasn't, I don't care. I just want to be in the stadium, drink beer. Ah, yeah, exactly. And just see up. people get freaking run over. Yeah, so if I see a fight, I'll geek. Ah, that's yeah. tough. That's tough. What what other sport like what's the one like a uh, sporting event did you not go to like a like a professional? Um, no, I went to a soccer game in Toronto. What um, wait? What soccer team did you watch? It was like a the MLS. Oh okay. Toronto, yeah. Um, and then did you go to a baseball game? Like yeah, a major league yeah, baseball I game? Went to, I went to one this summer actually. What a Yankees or a Mets Yankees, game? Yankees. Yankees game. Yeah. Who else? They sold. Um. Yeah. <laughs> they, it was so bad. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to think why you've been to an NFL game. I've never been to that's yeah, not real. I was gonna say what? volleyball. But <laughs> I never, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, you might have just completed the gauntlet. I think NHL's yeah. the last one. Yeah, I'm nice. Unless I mean WWE. Nah. I don't think that I don't, I don't UFC, think UFC that would be cool. Nah, UFC would be because they be have yo, they be having a lot of UFC events in Prudential a lot. Yeah. Like I think maybe nah, I think it was like a couple months ago they had yeah, a fight yeah, over there. It was like a month or two months ago. Like that's I yeah. I need I might go to one yeah. at least one bro. Nah, I want to go to one. It'll be fire. I mean, it has to be a good one though. Yeah, I I don't care. I just want to see. Oh, you just want to see it? People get rocked. Yeah, <laughs> hey yo, all right, all right, bro. So I have a fictional characters boxing royale. So what okay. I'm doing? I have a bracket of a bunch of fictional characters, and I want you to know. I want to know your opinion on if they will win against each other in a boxing match. Okay. So in the first round, we have the first seed versus the four seed. We have Shrek. Versus the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, not from X Men. Who do you think oh. is winning in a boxing match? Shrek, he's from them trenches. Nah, he really, he is Shrek from them the trenches. trenches. He's from them uh, them trenches. little uh, what's that called? Beauty and the, the Beast. swamps, bro. Nah, he got bread. He lived in a mansion. <laughs> Shrek right. was in them trenches. He ain't had it. All right, all right. Next one up, we got the second seed versus the third seed. We have Wreck It Ralph versus Jordan Von Strangle from Fairly Odd Parents. Dude with the big chin. Not um the no. crimson chin, okay. the 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 big fairy with the muscles. Oh, fairy! He can make stuff. He can make it happen. Nah, just uh, just hands though. Oh, versus Wreck It Ralph. Nah, he a little tiny when he not floating. <laughs> I'm taking uh Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. Okay, so now we're going into the other side of the bracket. We have Chewbacca versus Peter Griffin. Why is this? Why is this a real, like, thought process? I just peep. <laughs> why are you thinking about this? Chewbacca, he's an ape. Wait, right. why did that take you so long to think about that? Because Pete, he don't have no hands. Don't die. Like, you can beat him up as much. He's gonna stay there. <laughs> oh, like he has durability. But yeah, durability max. Durability <laughs> max. Okay. Yeah, that's why I had to think about. But that. you're still taking Chewbacca. True. Okay. True. All right. And then the, na- the last two versus three C, we got Sully versus Tarzan. Sully from uh, Monsters, Inc. The big blue monster versus Tarzan. Tarzan. T- 
Tarzan, really? Sully a little soft, bro. Nah, he not soft. You caring about kids and shit? Wow, that's crazy. Over what do you like, mean Tarzan care about his girl? He didn't even speak his English. His girl. That's what hood niggas do. Uh. YNs, <laughs> YNs only kill people because it's their girl. Uh. Most of their girl, they gonna kill you. Oh, uh, that is... He's really about that. And he be swinging like he an ape. And he not... The apes listen to him. Mm. Like, big boys listen to him. You I ain't gonna me? lie. You spit right now. That's yeah, facts. That's yeah, facts. Yeah. All right. So now we're in the semifinal round. We got Shrek versus Wreck-It Ralph. Shrek, Shrek from the trenches. I ain't gonna lie, Wreck-It Ralph a little soft too. He just, he's like, yeah, they don't he respect the me as a villain. <laughs> yeah, he's a little soft. Shrek, get him up out of here. Shrek, okay. Shrek, pack him. And then the next semifinal round, we got Chewbacca versus Tarzan. Now you gotta think about Tarzan. it. Tarzan. Tarzan still? Tarzan run the apes. He's big ape. Oh, <laughs> he's a big ape. He's, he's a big, big ape. All right, so in the finals, we have the one-seated Shrek versus the three-seated Tarzan. Do the trenches help? Tarzan, bro. I'm about to say, the trenches going to nah, save Shrek that cause much? Shrek, nah, because Shrek don't got that athleticism. He don't. And Tarzan, like, this white boy took over the jungle, bro. He did. Like, there's really monkeys. There's really everything over there. And he's like, bro, y'all can't mess with me. Swinging, <laughs> dodging. Shrek, he's going to out. He's gonna tire him. Yeah, it don't matter the trenches. Because Tarzan really from the trenches, too. He really from the jungle. Nah. You know, really from the jungle, so. <laughs> all right, all right. Tarzan won that. I ain't going to lie. What was your, what was your favorite... Um. Like Pixar or like Disney movie growing up as a kid. Um, like what was like your go-to that you watched? I mean Disney. I'm thinking Cartoon Network, bro. Any movie, it doesn't matter. It could be like a uh, Monsters Inc. It could be. Uh, I don't know if you remember this one movie. It was called. Um, like it was something. It was called like Pirate Planet. Hold on, I'm about to look it up right now. What was that called? Oh my gosh! What was that Planet uh, movie? Kids, what was that called? Treasure Planet. Treasure. You never seen Treasure Planet? Never. Even. With this dude, you never seen that movie? Oh, I have seen it, but I never seen like. Seen oh, like like ever was like seen seen it? Yeah. Oh, okay, now nah, that movie was OD. Treasure Planet, bro. Oh my god, it was like a bunch of it was like a uh, pirates mixed with like. Space theme stuff. Yeah, I didn't watch it though. I wanted to see it. I didn't see it. You didn't watch it? Oh, okay. Did you ever watch? You didn't watch no like Spy Kids and none of that stuff? Sharkborn Lava Girl. Shark, you like Shark? Loved it. Loved it. Okay. Die for it. Really? Okay, now, now, That's now. That's my thing. If you Have you ever watched it again? No. Yo, you know how that, that movie is really bad. <laughs> bro, because I was just saying numbers. Bro, I was the <laughs> same way, bro. I'm like, yo, this was I thought that was the greatest movie I ever watched when I was a kid. I went to the movie theater with the freaking uh the 3D glasses. Bro, what? Bro. No. What's the what's the, that's my movie. The movie, do you remember they had the board game? Oh, oh. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, the house started flowing through space. Uh Zathura. Z yes. That was a good that ass movie. Was I gotta rewatch it. That was a good ass movie. That, that was, was with um game. That was my Who thing. was in that movie? It was some kid from uh Oh, it was the dude from Hunger Games. Peter. He was he was in there. He was the he was one of the boys. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was like mad young. That was like one of his that first movies. That was my game. Nah, that was a good ass movie. That was my movie, I mean. Yeah. That was I a, love that. That was a that good was ass song. movie, bro. Dang. I I forgot about Zathora, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. I was I was rewatch I watched Shark Boy Lava Girl again, bro. That movie was a yeah. very terribly made movie, but it was so good. I watched it as a kid. Like I remember, I remember freaking George, randomly George Lopez was in it. Remember he was the freaking uh, the evil guy. He was in it. His head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit was crazy. Lava Girl. Like Shark Boy, Lava Girl's Fire. So I, I messed with Spy Kids. I like Spy Kids when I was younger. I ain't gonna lie. I used to rug them Rugrats movies, bro. I was a fiend from Rugrats movie. I don't know if I told you. Yeah, I, I told any SpongeBob movie, you got me locked. I go, am I am I soft? I, I cried after the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> like, what like, like at the end? <laughs> because the hell made you cry? <laughs> I still remember. I cried myself to sleep because I was watching it, and it was that part when SpongeBob and Patrick were like were like on, underneath the lamp, and they were holding hands. I thought they were gonna die. And I remember my dad was like, you have to go to bed. So he went maybe go to sleep after that. I'm like, there's no way SpongeBob is over. And I cried myself to sleep. I thought he was dead, bro. You woke up in the morning like... <laughs> yeah. Bro, I cried, I cried myself to sleep, bro, for that SpongeBob movie. When they put, up, when they put Cuz underneath the lamp, I was so sad, bro. 
That hurt my heart, bro. That hurt my heart. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, he was like, and then I, I think somebody, I think SpongeBob shed a tear, and then like short shirted the short circuited the the lamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I rem- I remember I watched those movies, the freaking Rugrats movies. There was another. Um, you ever watched the Iron Giant? I feel like that was. A, yeah, I feel like that was a. Pre- it was okay. Yeah, that was good. It wasn't. Yeah, I like I watched Tarzan, a cup. Co- I don't watch Tarzan as much. All right, I was I was talking about this with friends before. Are you, were you those kids that like the Polar Express? I, don't know. Uh, I watched it. It was a little creepy to me. I didn't like the bulgy character. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like, like that either. Like like, you remember when we was in school? They used to be like, um, "Oh, what movie?" Like there was always options, but like Polar Express was always the option. Yeah, always. I was like, "Nah, I'm not picking Polar Express." I, I always went to something else. Everybody picked Polar Express. I hated Polar. Oh, yo, watch. It was freaking mid. Like I don't know. For me, it was just mid. I didn't really like the whole freaking train thing. I guess it was kind of cool, but I always wanted to watch the other. I forgot what the other option was. Oh. I don't know if you're watching movies called Dinosaurs. It was like a Pixar movie where it was like, um, it was like, it, it came out mad. Uh, I remember I watched in like third grade. Hold on. It was, uh, hold on. Why is the election popping up? <laughs> Dinosaurs movie. Cool. It came out in 2000 though. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Oh, wait. Hold on. It was this one. The first one. That dinosaurs movie. Yeah. Oh, I did not see that, bro. That jump was od. I, I used to have never seen that. That's a, I used to. Yo, I love dinosaurs, bro. I remember my my mom made me watch a Jurassic Park one time, and I I thought it was gonna be just like that, and then I seen people die, and I I cried in the movie theater. I was screaming for help. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I was like, no, no. <laughs> yo, that joke was scary. Yo, that joke was scary. It was scary as hell, bro. The dinosaurs were nice, bro. They were literally. Oh, yo, it was the one where freaking um. I think it was uh it was his it was a brother it was two brothers they was doing parasailing and it was like a storm and they went to the they got they got lost in the storm and they went to the island so that's when they called up like the dinosaur people right and there was mad dinosaurs I remember freaking uh, I think cousin name was Billy he got picked up by the pterodactyls and they was freaking pecking his ass oh yeah I was like nah I was scared as hell bro like there's no I never seen a dinosaur kill nobody before I don't want to see dinosaurs no more nah bro I think they're coming out with a new like Jurassic Park world but it's like so. it's like rated r though i think they are like they're trying they're making it more like more because they did one before this mm-hmm. yeah. because supposedly like the the jurassic park like it, it was a book first before like the movies okay like it was a book or like a comic book and like in the book it's real like gory and like oh. really and, like it's a real like so they're gonna do a gory movie yeah like a horror uh jurassic park type of f- film it's not gonna be like you know Jurassic Park where it's like, oh, they're just trying to take over the dinosaurs and trying yeah. to save. Nah, it's gonna be like some dinosaur hunting down people like Michael Myers type of thing. So maybe that's good. I don't know. I think it's coming like next year. This I ain't gonna lie. These next two years where movies about to be fire, bro. Yeah. You got all the Marvel movies coming out. I think you got um, I think there was like a Mission Impossible movie coming out. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me look at. I, I like I like the video about it. I'm about to look it up right now. There was mad uh stuff coming out. Yeah, mad. I think it was like 2025 or 2026. There was like mad, like good ass movies coming out. If I could find this freaking thing, no, nah, I can't find it. Yeah, no, nah, it's deed. I can't find it. <laughs> it's so cool. Wait, let me one more scroll. One more scroll. Uh, if I can't find it, it is so cooked. Um, yep, nope, it's cooked. But before we end the pod, Tyrone, I got one last game we can play. So it's which made up world can survive the longest in, according to Chat GBT. Nice. So I'm going to give you two uh, fictional worlds, mm-hmm. and you are going to guess what is the easiest to you know survive in. And I'm gonna give you whether I'm gonna tell you if you're right or wrong based on what ChatGPT says. All right. Yeah. So the first group up is Pandora from Avatar, like the blue people, Ooh. or the Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Walking I'm Dead. Surviving at. I'm a I'm a fiend for both. By the way, really, I love Avatar. Love both. I think that movie's coming out in 2025. They're about to, re- about to re- release uh, Avatar 2, right? Three. Three. No, I saw two. Yeah, two is the one with the water people. Yes. And then three is the one that's going to be fire people. I love it, yeah. Yeah, that was a good-ass movie. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, they're, they had like a four-movie slate, though. Mm-hmm. So like four of them. I think, I yeah, know. I think this is the, wait, is it like four after the first one, or is it like four so in total? like three more. Yeah, three more. Okay, okay. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but I, Walking Dead. Walking and I, Dead? I, I, I watched so much Walking Dead. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, according to Chat Chat GBT, Pandora, the average like survival rate is fifteen percent. In The Walking Dead, it's twenty eight percent. So you're correct. Yeah. All right. 
Next world up, we have the Hunger Games or Minecraft. So I know you play Minecraft, Minecraft. my brother. I, uh, Minecraft. Minecraft? I, I, I'm going to die in the fight, bro. <laughs> okay. Minecraft me. So I, I can do that. Minecraft is 70% and the Hunger Games is 10%. Yeah, one person make it. But I remember I was looking up uh, the, when I was asked it, it said if you're skilled in Minecraft, like you played Minecraft before, it is 70%. But if you're not, it's 35. Yeah, low key. Low key yeah, <laughs> like yeah. if you don't know where like the monsters are. Doing, yeah, what to, my, what to look out for. Like yeah. at night, go inside. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny yeah. as hell. Yeah. All right. The next one up, we got The Matrix or The Purge? Purge. Purge? Yeah. Okay. So according to ChatGBT, we have The Matrix at 40%. And the purge at thirty percent, so they said it's easier to I survive saw, the matrix. Nah, because if I'm not like one of the Neo guys, yeah, and I think I die in that. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you're like just one of the people in the rat race, like in you know with the micro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cooked. Mm. So That's right. what I'm saying too. I feel like the purge is just one day. People yeah. think the purge is all year round. Like, nah, you just gotta survive one day. I, you know where I literally go. Where I go to like the middle of a random like field or forest. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where I can see everything around me, bro. Yeah, no, I just and but there's no like if it's the purge, why would anybody go out there? Exactly, people I've, are literally not going there. <laughs> exactly. Wait, is it okay? Is it a day or a night? I feel like it's just a night time. Like I don't think I it's, it's like a, a full night. twenty-four. It's just, a night. it's just one night, right? So it's like what eight hours? Yeah, I'm definitely going to like South Jersey in like a middle of like a farm, bro. I'm going to one of these field, one of these fields here. Oh, like around here, around the corner? Yeah, away from anything that anybody wants. Mm, that is true. That's crazy work, bro. Yeah. That's OD. Freaking. E oh, speaking of the Matrix, shout out the Matrix. Shout out Sean Marion. He actually liked one of our uh, videos oh. on Instagram. Why? What does he have to do? I don't know. He. I just seen him on the thing. I seen Sean Marion liked your video. No, but what does that have to do with the Matrix? That's his nickname. The Matrix. You know, that's a, you know, you didn't know they called Sean Marion the Matrix? Never even... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know he why played, either. He was a great defender, great. He was great player, great defender, great finisher, great rebounder. But I don't. I don't know what broadcaster put that name into the world. But hey, shout out to you. You made it this far. <laughs> yeah. And the the last the last um uh worlds that we have is a bird box or a quiet place. That's a good one. Yeah. So one is where you can't look, and the other one is where you can't speak. Which one do you think? I would lose my mind in Bird Box. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That jumps. If you can't speak, I'd be dead. Yeah. You can't even fart. Can't fart. I'm just trying. You can't even walk around with shoes on, bro. They they was walking barefoot, so they could, they walk on the grass. And even in freaking Bird Box, you even know what happened. Bird Box. Bird Box. Yeah. Okay. A quiet place is twenty two percent according to Chat GBT. Okay. And Bird Box is thirty five percent. Okay. And I think with Bird Box, what it is is because like if you can open your eyes when you're inside. Yeah, if you can't, yeah, yeah. When you're outside, that's when you gotta put the blindfold on. What's bad too is if somebody else opened their eyes, they'll grab you and try to make yeah. you. Yeah, that just I ain't gonna lie, that movie was great. That ending was OD. Yeah, they had to freaking gouge their eyes out or something like that. No, no, they just went. They just kept their eyes wrapped. No, nah, but you remember they they went to like the temple and it was like they a bunch. Just, yeah, but they were like most of them were already blind or they just put the stuff over there. Oh, yeah. oh, they didn't have to. Yeah, you. Hell oh, yeah, that's true. I thought I thought the ending like they made them like freaking take their eyes out or something like nah, that. Nah, everybody had their thing wrapped and mm. then they were good. They okay, okay. Worry about after that. Nah, Quiet Place. I think Quiet Place for real. Have you have you watched? Did you watch that third one? A Quiet Place. Yeah, there's like there was a the the first two and then there was a a prequel. So it was like what happened the first day. I didn't even know there was two. Really? Yeah. There was there was the first one and then the second one was when I think. Was she? Pr I actually I don't even remember the second one. I really remember the first one for real. Yeah. And then the second one I barely remember. But I watched the third one. It's really bad. I wouldn't advise anybody watching that. It was bad. It's so it's so mid, bro. Yeah. Like it was like they try to make it like, like they try to make a cinematic cinematical like masterpiece where it's like a drama. Oh. There was barely any aliens in it. I'm like, what is going on? It wasn't even. This is like day one. I don't see no aliens here. Yeah, I don't see. They nothing. try to make it more sentimental and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, nah, bro. I, I, ain't, I ain't mess with that, bro. Yeah. One of the worst things I ever watched in 2024. I'm not gonna lie. One of the worst things I ever watched. Yeah. But one of the best things I watched, Vox Machina. If you do your homework. Yo, I'm trying to watch. I'm trying. I'm trying to like warm my girl up to it. Like, you ever watch Rick and Morty? Okay. 
Bro, how you feel about you know what I'm saying? Bro, I ain't gonna lie though, it's a very Dungeons and Dragons type of like a thing. I'm, I'm gonna watch it regardless. Yo, so it just, yo, I I, literally, I finished watching like I rewatched it because I be I be doing Uber and shit. Yeah, I be I be watching it while I'm like driving. I yeah, rewatched the fiend. bro, just to, just to let the time go by. But I watched the the whole three seasons in like like a week, bro. He's <laughs> great, bro. Now I got I gotta watch Invincible so I can conv- compare both of them now. But that's a that's a hell I'm gonna die on, but I'm not gonna die in it today. Yes. But you got any other things before we end the podcast, Ty? Um anything you wanna say? One day they're gonna stop making LeBron Hennessy, and I'm gonna be the only one with it left. With like actual Hennessy in no, it or LeBron just the bottle? Filled bottle and box and everything. So you have one that you're not touching I have at all? Two that I haven't touched. Wow. <laughs> are you buying are you planning to buy more? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So is he is this like a lifelong like a uh, partnership or is this like a uh, limited know. time thing? Oh, I you think it might be limited, but I don't know. You're just gonna run it up until you can't I'm no run more. Run it up till Bron decides he doesn't want to do it anymore. Hey, respect, bro. Shout out to La Hennessy. <laughs> he got that king in you. He got that king in him, bro. Nah. <laughs> but before we end the pod, shout out to everybody on our Patreon, people on our Patreon. If you're watching this, I know we haven't been posting a lot the last two months, but we've been, you know, busy trying to get in the swing things. Tyrone is a freaking coach now, yeah, and he's in school. I'm trying to find a job. Things UJ is out. It's a lot of going on, but promise you, these next two months where there's gonna be a lot of content going on, we're gonna plan everything out. There's gonna be a lot of things going around. A lot of new things on the channel and on Patreon that we're going to post. So tune into all of that. But shout out to everybody on our Patreon. Shout out to all our free subscribers. We have Jalen Strong, Darnell Vandervey, Levi O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson, Haba Shudu Bishubin Sid, I Heart Big Booby, Big Booby, I Heart Big Booty Freaks, Farmington Fleming, Gene Paul Sr., Summer McIntyre, Robert Shelton, O'Shea, Drew, Crazy. I wonder who Drew is. Drew, if you're watching this, because there was a st- there's a <laughs> Jay has a stalker. His name is Drew. Uh, uh, He's on my ass. Like, uh, like, <laughs> like, like, like he had a crush on Jay since like high school. It's Drew. Is it you think is that Drew? It's Drew. Like he he would text her every birthday. Like he never missed a birthday. Happy birthday. It's Drew. And he went to the military. He's a military guy. It's Drew. <laughs> you think he's plotting on me, like to assassinate me? Yeah, he's waiting for you to get called again. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Drew, shout out to you, bro. Jaquavion, Jesse Rodriguez, Kev, Rob Quash, Cal, Nud the Shield, Isabel Graham, Leek, DJ Wills, Ramon Padil, Alyssa Smith, Laquel Ingram, Tyrone Bones, Corey Perry, and King Fry. And I think I'm missing a couple because there might be some more on here that I didn't see. We have Gangster Gamer GSG. Shout out to you if you're, you're a real Gangster Gamer. Amir mm-hmm. Al Daraji. Shout out to you. And Triz.4K and Taji Patterson. So shout out to all y'all. These are free members. Now we're going to our second round steals. These are the people that's paying $5 a month. Shout out to DJ Khalid, Mohammed, not you because you ended your subscription. Crazy work. Tamia, you also ended your subscription. That's <laughs> tough. And Trey Simmons, my brother from Houston, shout out to you. And lastly, our first round lottery picks, which is our $10 tier. The people that spend the big bucks on us. You guys are getting a lot. There's going to be a lot more videos coming up, so tune into that. We got Tavon Cox and Leyland Poole. So shout out to everybody on our Patreon. Keep subscribing. More content coming soon. And yeah, any last words? But you're, Or with a LeBron, let me see your last words, bro. That's my last words. That was your last words? That's it. Yes, I don't respect it. We different than regular regs, man. Gangster. Gangster.